my music. Yeah, but this is already Lightfoot, by the way. <laughs> already Lightfoot was a game that I played a lot as a kid. Um, and I don't really know why. Uh, it's a bit, I think the answer is because I had it. The answer is because I just I just owned the game. I should put the game in the background, huh? Like I physically have the book, the the game. It's one of the few games I physically still have. Hello, Zoko, how are you? Shen, f feel free to uh, to speak French to Zelk. Zelk does understand French. <laughs> so put this here. You can actually see it. That's actually pretty cool. It's like he's a little bit of it's like he's like showing it to y'all. I love it. <clears throat> It'd be really funny if um It'd be really funny if Zelk was like I don't want to talk for it. <laughs> I don't want to speak in French. <laughs> I think that'd be really funny <laughs> as a reaction to that. <laughs> like I know you speak French, but that doesn't mean you want to speak French, that's fair. <laughs> How's that for audio? It seems fine to me. <laughs> this game doesn't have a password system, so we might actually do that later because I probably won't be super interested in being really good at the game. Um, so this is the game. This is, this is what you get. <laughs> There's hopping. There's throwing of this little guy. There is a, a pogo, which is basically holding the jump button. Yep, as you can see. Um, you have to actually... Holding is incorrect. It's actually more of a... Uh, you have to actually like... Oh, that's confusing. You have to hold it. Sometimes? But sometimes not. <laughs> Perplexing. And running... Happens automatically. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, so punt. That's interesting. So throwing happens with either of the characters. Yeah, and there's this ability here that I don't remember. <laughs> there's this thing you can do to like hide yourself, but I don't know how this works. <clears throat> yeah, so I don't know anything else about it. Yep, yep. Oh my god! I'm assuming that kills me, actually, so let's just not fall in there. Um, <clears throat> so we're just gonna hop around. You only speak French with your family? Creole with friends, English with everything. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. Uh, I, yeah, I would expect that. I don't, I don't imagine you run into a lot of French-speaking people. Especially Creole-speaking people in your in your region. Is it is there a name for it? It's not just called Creole, is it? Oh, I can pick that up, I guess. Uh, how do I pick things up again? Uh, oh shit! There, yeah. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> <clears throat> oh really? I didn't. I didn't realize that's just the that's just the phrasing. Okay, yeah. I guess I, I expected it to be called like Haitian Creole to have a specific name, you know. Um, what? How do I get over there? I just jump it. Yep, just jump it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I barely remember this game, so. Oh, look at that. You guys ever just casually walk into a cave and see a dragon statue? I have it. Right, yeah, that's what I was gonna say, Zelk. I feel like there's other Creoles. Oh, our bad guy is a mole. I don't even remember that. Okay, there's a mole bad guy. Or maybe he's a porcupine, I don't know. <laughs> I love the overworld by the, of this game, by the way. It looks fantastic. The music's pretty, pretty good, actually. I'm enjoying the music so far. The old man read the writing on the slate. Long ago, great power appeared a rainbow. Many bad things happened, and the great power was lost, and the power was divided into seven pieces. And then seven pieces again, which would come true. One returned to the earth, another sunk to the bottom of the dark cold water, another piece left in the desert of town. Another one disappeared into the outer sea. The old man could read no more. He reads really fucking fast. I, th I think that's faster than most children can read. I'm pretty sure I never got any of that lore. <laughs> because that was, that was really quick, for some reason. <laughs> 
The Breath of Fire? Okay. I was not going to say Breath of the Wild. That would have been funny. You, you should play... It funny Zelda was like, you should play Zelda. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're like bombing people. Holy shit. That's pretty epic. That's pretty horrible. Uh, is there anything over here? We have to go left. No, no. By the way, I'm actually quite bad at this game. I played it recently. Uh, can I eat? Yeah, I can eat the little guy. So this little dude's like Kirby. A really old RPG? Okay. Any other buttons? Nine. Something's gonna attack me, surely. It's too quiet. Yep. Can't go in there. Oh, I can go up here. Look at that. Uh, oh good. This game, it lacks that ability. So I hate it when games allow you to kind of like go like really high up or really low. And then there's things above or below you, and then they don't they don't let you scroll the the, the camera around. That's really really frustrating. Oh, are you kidding me? I hit him. How did he hit me? Yeah. So the way the other way you kill the things is by bonking them with your tail. This is the only other way to kill things in this game, uh, which is a huge pain in the ass, by the way. <laughs> this game is a. Uh... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it to be honest. Yeah, I, I liked this game a lot when I was a kid. Yeah, <laughs> as you can see, there's a lot of really like troubling or frustrating things in the game. Because uh, to be honest, the, the the game's biggest weakness is its controls. Its controls are just weird. Um, like they were definitely like I would say they're pretty innovative. I guess like they're they're different. Damn. Before, Dan, I very much appreciate your raid but i'm also a little perplexed are you here because you actually know what this game is i did not expect anyone to come by today <laughs> i'm playing a random game from my childhood did not expect anyone to be like whoa yeah that <laughs> already lightfoot that's my fucking jam <laughs> but regardless welcome let me say hello to everybody hello everyone my name is jose el segundo um i am a indie game slash retro streamer uh, today we're doing retro as you can see um, but usually, um, so before we were playing Blasphemous, by the way, if any of you do not own Blasphemous, have not tried Blasphemous, you need to play Blasphemous. It's fantastic. It's such a good game. Um, I'm going to ceremoniously release my hair. <laughs> um, but actually just because it's bothering me. Ow. I hate having my hair tied back. Um, welcome everyone. Um, I hope you enjoy retro gameplay. You have Blasphemous? It is quite good. It's so good. I was playing that um, on Thursday. So yeah, uh, that's... I was going to play Blasphemous again today, uh, but then I decided, no, no, no. It. I don't know. I'm just kind of feeling like a more relaxed stream. Jose doesn't pay you for that. For what? <laughs> what are you talking about, Zilk? Oh, for the shouting? <laughs> Thank you for shouting out, Zilk. I appreciate it. Hey, you shout out. Oh, oh, Pog oh Pog says. Okay. I saw somebody shout out Dan earlier. I figured it was you, Zoke. There's no other VIPs here yet. Uh, well, Lopin's here, but he may not, he may be lurking about. Hi, Sarah. Let me go say hello to everyone who just arrived. Because I think it's going to be a crowd that I know. Yeah, Red? Red Moss? I, I don't know how to say your name. I just want to call you just Red. <laughs> Sugar Beat? I don't think that I met you before. Uh, but hello. Welcome. Uh, Baby Bean, of course. I I see you in so many streams. Um, Horn Pegasus, or Pegasus, my apologies. Dan? Dread? Sarah, so many great, great people showing up. I love it. <laughs> Blasphemous is indeed fantastic. I really do love the game. Red is fine. Sounds good. Sounds good. You haven't met me before? <laughs> I mean, in this stream, sugar. <laughs> sugar beat. I haven't met you in this stream. Uh, as my stream, uh, my chat window was so, so adamant to mention, this is a new chatter. I have absolutely met you. In all, oh my god, we just got super lucky right there. Yeah, so this game is incredibly weird, if anyone remembers this game. <laughs> Sassy Sugar. <laughs> hey, sometimes you need a little bit of sass, right? Some people just need to get sassed. Like me, apparently, because I don't I, I don't do a good job of communicating. Oh my god, are you killing me? Oh my gosh. So, uh, this game has two ways to attack, which is we have that little guy right there, our little bud right there, that we can throw. Now I, I lost the guy, so I can't throw him anymore. Oh, so now my only means of attack is uh, bonking people with my tail, like pogoing on them. I, I don't know. Maybe this is what made me like Hollow Knight. Um, I'm a big Hollow Knight enjoyer, and maybe I just like was like, ah, pogo. That's that's my jam. I remember that from Artie Lightfoot, from when I was like a, ch a small child, a wee lad. Um, by the way, I think these are the save points. I don't actually don't know. 
<laughs> Sarah, I, I'm, I find it really interesting that- Oh god. They're bombing me, dude. Jesus Christ. These guys are brutal. Can you not? <laughs> they, you know, they can. They can. This is going very poorly. I, I suppose as I should have expected. Considering I haven't played this game in super long. I wonder if I can just kill this guy. I Probably not, right? No. Can I? Yes! Wow, hacks. There you go. He's gonna come back. What the hell is that sound effect? Can you guys hear that? I think the game... I don't think the game expected me to do what I just did. It's, it seems quite confused now. I think that little guy is stuck in the sky somewhere. We have one life, by the way. Can I blow this up? Nope. Oh, he just crashed! There's actually... Wow, there's a special animation for this. If you kill the guy, he slams into... This little, um, little tower. Wow, that's an extreme attention to detail. Yeah, I... Oh, hello, Mole Man. Mole Man, are you a boss? Sir? Oh, you ran away. Cool. See ya. Probably, like, in... Oh, you... <laughs> I am fighting you! Uh, oh no. I don't think I was supposed to be up here. Um... Are we in a boss fight? We are not. What just happened? I don't understand what has happened. <laughs> Um, am I supposed to bonk you? No, no. Okay, that was very confusing. <laughs> we have one life, by the way, so it's going to go very poorly. <clears throat> this game has a password system, by the way, and I'm probably going to look up passwords right now because uh, I'm not going to bother becoming per perfect at this game. Bean, I'm sorry to see you lurk, but I appreciate you still hanging out. <laughs> it's always good to have you. Also, Bean, is Alba's, before you go, is Alba's return still on? I haven't seen Alba in, a few, in streams lately, but I hope it's still on. I can pull these? No, I cannot. It's a lie. What? Wait, that helps me grab things? I didn't even know that. Okay, so so there you go. Why? You guys have fun with that, by the way. Um, because So, by the way, I'm actually using a... Uh, a super a, a, a SNES ish controller, not the official one, because that would be impossible. Um, so we're I'm having to remember what these button prompts are, uh, if there are indeed button prompts, because like as you know, with Nintendo controllers, they're different. Actually, you have a B, B and A are here. B, A, Y, X, which is different from every other layout. Absolutely, op basically the opposite of the, of the of the Xbox one, by the way. If you're wondering. Oh, why did I do that? Okay, I don't even know what happens if I kill this guy. Apparently nothing. Okay, that guy just does, he just exists forever. That's fair. <clears throat> Once again, thank you very much for the raid, Dan. It looks like you were playing Max Payne. Is that right? I think that's what I saw from... Uh... God damn it. Don't jump. What's that? I think that's what I saw from, uh, from the shout-out. Also, Max Payne. Interesting choice. Oh no, I'm gonna have to start pogoing. Yeah, there's um, These platforming sections are a huge pain, especially when you have to pogo. <laughs> pogo requirements are kind of insane in this game uh, because they're just really confusing and hard to do. Like, you have to just kind of stand like this and then go for your jump. So it's a little bit wild. A little bit weird. Oh my. Is, are we gonna die in some dumb way? Yep. That would have killed me, wouldn't it have? No? Yes. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure that would have killed me, right? I can't know, because if I jump down there... I will, uh, I don't know what happened if I jump down there, actually. Oh, interesting. It is. It is indeed, Dan. That is exactly what it is. Also, uh, congrats on the gift sub you must have gotten from someone. Oh no! Please don't fall. What's all this, then? Oh. Is this worse? Oh, I wanted to... God damn it, I wanted to go up there. Can I even get back there? Yes, I can. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, this game is so weird. It's so weird to control. Oh my gosh. Let me up there. Let me up there. Thank you. Yeah, Manse was going nuts on the gift subs. Classic Manse move. Good lord, the jumping. 
the jump, the platforming in this game. It's something else. Let's find out. Let's just see if we die. I, I imagine we will die if I drop too far. No, actually. Intriguing. Quite suspicious. Oh, I know, Dan. I know. I know you were an, a near enjoyer. Oh, good. We're gonna get chased? So just jump over it. Okay. Fair enough. Can I walk on it? Yes. Yes, I can. Huh. Oh, come on. This music's pretty damn good, to be honest. I'm feeling this music. Red redeemed to Max Payne, the channel points. <laughs> really? Why did you have a channel points redeemed specifically for Max Payne? I'm, I'm intrigued by that more than anything else. Uh, there's got to be a guy. Yep. 100% just a guy. Yeah, so if I didn't have this little dude to eat these guys, uh, I would actually have to um, uh, pogo on top of them, which would be a huge pain. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, that makes much more sense, Dan. That was down there. Can't even see. You chose Max Payne. So what made you choose Max Payne, Red? Are you a, a very a serious Max Payne enjoyer? And by the way, I have no idea where I'm, where I'm supposed to go right now. Oh my god. That's terrifying. I have never played Max Payne. Oh no, this is a pogo one. Good god. Yeah, so you see how I kind of can't reach that? I need to pogo it. Which means I need to do this. And then do this. Oh my- <laughs> Oh my wrecked! <laughs> you bastard! Oh my god, this game is mean. This game is just mean, dude. It's one of your favorite games? Okay. I've not personally played it. Um, I've actually watched someone play it though. It looked like a lot of fun, honestly. This is where I was. Oh, hey little guy. What's happening here? Oh, fucking hell. Jesus Christ, man. Why you got your little good dude so quick? Oh, I got a little friend. Okay, well, there you go. I can't kill him. I can bonk him. Why did I do this? Why would I want this? I feel like it might be going in a circle here, actually. Um, can I not? I can't see. I really thought this was going to go down, actually. I'm really confused <laughs> by the fact that this did not go down. Very strange. You love most of the games for the Studio Remedy? Ah, oh, I see, I see. Bull yeah, the bullet time looks really cool. Uh, the person I was watching play, uh, their name is uh, Sweatshop Dev. Hey, I just realized my camera is opposite than it's supposed to be. That's funny. Why in the world are you like this? Let us flip horizontal. Is that weird? Is that more weird? Let's find out. I don't know. You, you tell me. Chat, you decide. <laughs> it's just more or less weird for me to be facing in this way. See, now when I look at you guys, it looks like I'm like looking. I guess that's more accurate to what's actually happening. Because now I'm facing this way. Yeah. I don't know, man. Fuck it. Whatever. It does look pretty damn cool um, when I was watching it. I, I guess it also looks just fun. <laughs> it does look fun because it was kind of weird. Um, sorry, not weird, but it was—it just looked like a lot of fun, like to to do the actual the actual levels. Uh, of course, that was part partly because of the bullet time. Bullet time just seemed like such a fun mechanic. Actually, that was the that was kind of part of a discussion I was having with someone else about how innovative was Max Payne truly with bullet time. And um, I couldn't remember actually, but it was quite close. Um, like the the distinction between when it came up in Max Payne versus when it came up in the Matrix. Um, and like, it's quite close, I think. Um, but I, what I could not remember is uh, whether, excuse me, um, whether it showed up first in the Matrix or first in Max Payne. Oh, God damn it. I hate this level. This level sucks. Yeah, you're supposed to actually like duck through things to not get hit. Yeah, by those things. But you're supposed to jump as well. Which obviously I'm not doing. Because I'm a coward. <laughs> and I don't remember how to fight these guys either. I can do that. But that's all I got. 
Doesn't everybody love minecart levels? Minecart levels are so much fun. And I think this little guy is going to try to, like, sabotage us in some way. Although I don't remember how. Oh, yeah, yeah. He crashes into something. And he just dies. Poor thing. Rip. Rip, little frog boy. Frogman. Look at it. It's so cinematic. <gasps> oh, my God. Okay. I didn't have to do anything. By the way, I'm not doing anything. If you're wondering. <laughs> it was the first, first video game. Absolutely the first video game. Yeah, the question that I had was... Oh, good. Boss battle. The question I had was whether um the matrix showed the, co the bullet time concept before max Payne existed or after it existed so in other words what what was influenced by what or perhaps they were you know side by side influences that kind of stuff i find very interesting matrix was first that's that's what i thought red um but <laughs> but i hadn't, hadn't made the effort to look at look into it so they don't want to necessarily jump to conclusions okay this boss is gonna probably gonna kick our ass by the way <laughs> uh, we have three lives, um, but uh, I don't know what to do at all. I don't know his mechanics at all. Uh-huh. I was supposed to duck, of course. Can I bonk him? No. I think I'm supposed to bonk him when he throws the hat, yeah. I'm sorry, how? What happened? I don't understand what happened. Okay, we duck. That's a hit. It's okay. I don't care. We're going to prove it out. Oh my god. That is a tight jump. Holy shit. Oh, really? So fear did it first? We're gonna fail this because I'm... How in the world do you do that so quick, dude? By the way, it's super hard to avoid this. Duck it. Jump it. Duck it again. Oh my god. The fights are so su super simple, but they're a huge pain in the ass. Oh, come on! I didn't know the pixels. So the answer is, oh my god, how do you even do that? Duck it. I guess you have to really just... It's so quick to... Holy shit. Duck it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Try to get the clutch victory now. Oh! Three hits. Give me a three hit. No, not three hits! Imagine, this game does not stick to the three-hit design pattern. It's five hits?! How dare you, game? How dare you insult me like this? Oh! <laughs> it's horrifying in every way possible. Hey, Jen, how are you? Good to see you. Oh yeah, we see our other hero, this other fox dude, uh, which I know nothing about. But <laughs> if you're wondering, do I remember the deep lore of Artie Lightfoot? No, no, I do not. By the way, um, not that I want to spoil anyone who hasn't seen the the most recent X Men, X Men, uh, Matrix movie. Um, but man, the new movie made me just remember how much I liked the first movie. <laughs> And I don't, I don't, I refuse to answer the question as to why. Uh, just the first movie is really good. That's all I will say. <laughs> the first movie is fantastic, but oh man, do I have thoughts? Do I have many thoughts? Oh, this is the password system, actually. By the way, if you're wondering, I think we're gonna get to the password system right now. No? Oh, geez, just looked it up. You've only been live 38 minutes. Uh, yeah, you're actually here. Imagine. I'm gonna start calling you guided now because you pointed that out. But no, I'm I'm really still gonna call you voices to be real here. How do I make this jump? Oh, okay, this is fine. But <laughs> hey, we were joking about that last time in another stream. Um, <clears throat> my friend Squiz was joking about this, uh, and uh, in Penny Meowie's channel, and I was jokingly saying, like, someone asked me, we're talking about like names, right? Uh, and someone mentioned, um. Dude, why would anyone call anyone by their last, their second name, right? I was like, well, lo logically, it makes sense sometimes. Sometimes you want to call someone by their second name. Um, because it just doesn't really make any sense to, to not do it. Right? Because it, it just seems weird. Because, uh, like, you, you, when someone has an adjective for a name is the example we're using. I'm going to transform this. I, I cannot deal with this flipped horizontal. I don't, don't like it. <laughs> so sorry, guys. <laughs> um... Because sometimes it just seems weird to like, like for for example, with our, our friend Owl, right? Basking Owl. 
I, I feel weird just being like, hello, basking. Like, <laughs> that's a, that just seems weird. That, that seems, it's an, it's a, a weird word to use to describe anyone, right? Because, but owl is a noun, and therefore now it, it makes more sense, right? Um, but it, it is quite funny. Uh, the joke that I made was, uh, yeah, so it's not super, it's not common, right? But people have indeed called me Segundo. People have called me, hello, Segundo. And I'm like, the fuck? Like, <laughs> like my first name is a proper name. You know, it's a, it's a noun. <laughs> why not? Why would you just call me Jose? Just weird. The fuck is that? Oh, he turned red. I don't know what that even means. Does he fly now? Oh, he does fly. Okay, that's pretty pog. Oh, he's gonna run out. Oh, no. So this is a bad idea. This is a terrible idea. Okay. What's the point of this? Why am I doing this? Oh, I see. Just to get these. So be it. Oh! Why? That was the point of that. I could have used that. Oh, that's silly. Um, but anyway, um, the, the joke that I made was, yes, it's it's stupid, but like imagine calling someone by their the middle name. The name in the middle. Like That would be fantastic. Like, call me L. Call, call Dan Must. And call you by. Yeah, please, please call me out. It's hilarious. I think it's funny. <gasps> oh my god, this game is mean. Holy shit. It was just gonna let me drop into those spikes. Who has given you the sharp object? <laughs> Did you not even realize that? I told you what was gonna happen. I told you, Oxford, you better stop being so so helpful. And and stop doing moddy things. I need you to you were you were modding too much, so now I punish you with the sword. But in, I did ask you repeatedly, and I realized you were probably also memeing. Um, but if you genuinely <laughs> would rather still be a VIP, I will change that. <laughs> Don't worry. What the fuck does that do? Where does that take me? It goes nowhere. Is there any? <laughs> I really hope there's no fall damage in this game, because or else we're in trouble. Where does that take me? What's happening? You will use it for good. You approve of this, okay? <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> what are you talking about? You and Mass are cool with it. Well, what the hell would I call you, nobody? Would I call you underscore? <laughs> the fuck would I call you? Underscore. Hello, underscore. I, I suppose you could com combine it. It would be even funnier. Right? Hello, underscore nobody. Like, <laughs> it sounds so dumb. <laughs> oh god, man! This game is just mean to you, dude. There you go. Oh god. Ah! What has happened? I didn't even see it happen. Ben is continuing the sub. Thank you very much for continuing your sub, Ben. I appreciate that very much so. We're playing, especially during this game of all things. I, I was really like assuming that no one was going to have any interest in this game. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> <laughs> this is the nature of platforming, by the way. Because uh, it's just kind of like the... Well, I mean, to be fair, you probably don't have interest in it. <laughs> you guys are just here because, you, because you're you my viewers. Uh, or because you're being nice. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. You've never seen it. SNES, indeed. This is the class... This is an SNES design pattern in every way. You're just kidding. Selfless is... Selfless is fine, yeah. Oh, uh, thank you, by the way. Selfless, the first time I met you, you gifted me a sub. You, you lived up to your name. Um, I'm pretty confident the first time I ever, like, genuinely interacted with you in a stream, you gifted me a sub. So, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so, it was awfully nice of you. Still drinking my patented Red Bull, hashtag not sponsored. Although, it, it is, yes, still lukewarm. It's still lukewarm. Because I'm too, I forgot to put them in the fridge again. Okay, we need to jump on this guy, by the way, if you're wondering. Pretty confident we need to jump on that dude. Jump on it. Oh my god, how? How would you do that perfectly? Run, you idiot, run! I, I, I've i gone through this level a few times as a child, and I've, I don't think I've ever done that correctly. Big jump! Oh, wrecked. This part of the game is, is just rude. Horrible in every way. I think I remember like testing this recently, and I was like, "Good lord, you make child, you, you guys made children do this? It's just insane." 
Yeah, this game legitimately forces children to try to do that section, and it's just insane to me. Am I supposed to just hop on all of them? Let's try it. Look at that! How? What, what do you even do? I don't even understand. How do you do that? <laughs> I think I'm supposed to do like a very long jump, but then I don't understand the logistics of how I'm supposed to not land on the spikes. I, I think it's like a forced hit. I, mean, I guess it doesn't matter because you fall here anyway and then you just die. Okay, Shen. You have returned. Okay, we're going to do a long jump right here. We're going to try, try our very best to do so. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, it's literally the last second. Holy crap. Why? Why is this game so... It was the last section! Good god. This game's just rude. By the way, the overworld is really cute. Um, but I wish you could actually like travel in it. Because you, you, you don't get to. Therefore, you have to kind of just like very quickly go through things. Oh, this level is so hard. I just remember this. <laughs> that went so poorly. Oh, that's right. It's opposite. It's opposite what you would expect. So I'm going to jump on here, right? So you see, you don't jump the way... <laughs> like in most games, right? Like you're on the right side of the rope, therefore you can jump to the right side. But no, it actually expects you to jump the way you're facing. So it actually expects you to do this. Which is kind of kind of crazy, as a concept. So you're supposed to go the opposite side and then jump. It's just insanity. Like why? Why would you do that? It's like a weird design element. Yep, that's what's expected. This yeah, they have platforms that rotate because yeah, it's fun, right? Everyone loves that. Um, how do I do that? I think I have to pogo. Oh my god. Yeah, you can't move when you're pogoing. By the way, you can't move fast enough. I'm sorry. Is what I mean by that. Okay, that was easy. Oh, Jose, por favor, don't die. It was only one life. Good God. It makes, I guess it makes sense realistically, right? Like, it, it, if you're going to try to attach realism to a platformer, then I imagine, I can see why. I can see how we got here, right? But once again, it's a platformer. Why, why are we trying to attach realism in any way? Uh, that's just for these, which I think give me new lives. Yep. Oh, I am not, personally. Oh, do you mean the... <laughs> I thought you were asking like, a really awkward question. No, uh, well, I mean, I guess you are, but... You're asking, what am I? I don't know. The character's name is Artie Lightfoot. Um, I, I don't know where to go from that. He has a tail. I don't think he's a gopher, because I don't think gophers have tail. Jose, please? <laughs> Why? Why please? Oh my god, that guy was so quick. I, I'm not personally a gopher. I have to answer the question, right? Are you... Any, any gophers in chat? I don't know what that's going to turn into. I probably maybe might regret that question. All the way down. You love to see it. You love to see it. Classic platformer bullshit. You love to see it. Oh my god. You're a hedgehog. Good to know. How the fuck do I get up there? I have to drop from the top, don't I? Uh, um, <laughs> I'm not explain that to you, Shen. What is a what is a gopher? Um, a bur a burrowing creature, a creature that burrows. Shen, <laughs> I don't know if that helps you in any way. It doesn't. Are they blind? No, am I thinking of moles? No, I'm thinking of moles. Hold on, I'm thinking of a mole. Shit. Guys, what's the difference between a mole and a gopher? Because I, I never remember. Uh, they're very different animals. I, I just generally do not know. I'm not a, I'm not a biologist. I did not major in biology. Oh, oh right. This is such a pain in the ass. I don't remember this at all. <laughs> I don't remember what to do. Um, you have to actually grab onto this, right? And then you have to like, I think, go to the lowest possible height. But you can still be hit sometimes. It is the lowest possible height. There you go. That's how you play the game. Me too. That's exactly what I know as well. What the fuck is that? Oh, okay. Does that go away? Oh, it just opens the door. Did, how did I earn four lives? I don't know how that happened. Is that the exit? No. Oh... 
<laughs> so by the way, I want you to know that this this apparently we get the same boss theme for everything. This is like the song is a bit too epic for some things. And I agree with you, Artie. Question mark indeed. Question mark all the way right now. Okay. So this is a boss fight, uh, which is actually really weird. Uh, the purpose of the boss fight is that she... Is she a fox? Is she a squirrel? I don't know. I don't know. She could be either. She's an anthropomor anthropomorphic animal, so I don't know. She could be a furry. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what she is. But the point is, uh, there are these various, like, um, the all these switches here activate a punch from something, right? So you're actually supposed to... Um, she's She is cute. Oh, you looked up a gopher. <laughs> okay, you didn't mean the you didn't mean the squirrel. So what we're actually supposed to do this is a puzzle boss. Everyone loves puzzle bosses, right? So what we have to actually do is hit the right uh, button to cause her to uh, try to hit us. Oh, sorry, it's for us to hit her. So you see what just happened? <laughs> he just like literally punched her in the face. Yeah, and we can't hurt her any any other way, right? So this is what we have to do. But she gets smarter and she runs away. Yeah, as you can see. Uh, but she does it by layers, so eventually we have to actually, like, like cheat, I guess. Yep, see? So that's what we have to do. That's the game. Um, but I think she's gonna start, like, jumping them faster. No, I guess not. I guess that's how you beat her. <laughs> she's just too slow. <laughs> so be it. Okay, that causes her to jump. Interesting. Yep, I gotta say, kill her. I'm just punching this poor woman to death. I'm so sorry, squirrel lady. Or whatever the hell you are. Oh my god, I'm so, too slow. <laughs> I jumped at the wrong part. So we have to learn how to bait that, huh? Oh, you can get infinite lives here. Good to know. It's actually it's quite a nice game. Alright, let's do it. Your, your other question, if you're uh, observant, might also be... Um... Excuse me, madam? How did you just blow? We cheesed you both times earlier. How did you? Oh, man. She's got new tech. What in the world? This boss is completely inconsistent. Does she behave differently depending on... She does. What in the world? She was being super consistent earlier. And then suddenly she stopped being consistent. I don't really understand why. Okay. I don't know how we debated her earlier, to be honest. I guess we need to, like, bait her into trying to press a button. Oh, I can't do that. Good to know. So I don't need to be on the edge. Living on the edge. I hate that song, by the way. <laughs> so I kind of want to do this. Oh, you did! <laughs> she debated us again. Okay, so I need to stand there. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. He's too smart for us. Or I'm too dumb, really. <laughs> Puzzle boss. Puzzle boss. How dare you. This music's so epic, dude. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I need to stand here and wait for her to try to hit me. There you go. That's how you do it. I don't think that's going to work every time, though, by the way. Uh-oh. Jabated! She's too smart for me now. How did we trick her so well last time? Okay. This is probably like some, a different tech you're supposed to be doing, but this is the way I've always done it as a kid. Yep. You just debate her. <laughs> and that's it. I don't know what else you do. We got so close to winning last time too. Oh! She's getting too smart now. What did we do differently there? I need to land right on it, huh? <gasps> oh! Oh, I don't remember what to do! <laughs> she hit herself in the face. <laughs> you love to see it. That was terrifying in every way, though. Oh! Oh my god. I don't even understand what just happened there. She's so fast now. Did I win? I won. Uh, rip. Uh, 
What? <laughs> what just happened? Oh, look at that. What you think? There you go. She's a flying squirrel. She's a flying squirrel. Now we know. Or a sugar glider? I don't know the difference. You guys tell me. I have no idea what the difference is. I'm going to say she's a flying squirrel. <gasps> ah! Oh, yeah. Sorry. She got eaten by this. And then we have to go save her. They're all cats. All? They're not all cats. It's impossible, Ben. It's impossible. I can see how you would be a cat. I would... But she does fly, though. By the way, we're inside the stomach of a creature. In case you guys didn't see that. Oh, yeah. This is basically like a ripoff of a... <laughs> of the enemies in Mario. In Mario World. Um, because, like, they're little... The little skull dudes, skull boys, um, and we're supposed to like bonk them. But if you bonk them, they don't. I don't think they die. I think they actually just kind of crumble. But you can eat them. Oh man! I like how you wikied it, by the way, Ben. I appreciate your commitment. I I certainly couldn't be couldn't be bothered to go look it up. <laughs> I played this game many times. Oh, I see. That looks troubling. By the way, later the um, these structures move around. You were super curious about the game. You've never heard of it. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah, and it's definitely a really weird, uh, weird game. Uh, I don't know why I had it as a kid, but I did. I did indeed have this game as a kid. But that's exactly where we are. We are inside, I guess we're inside just the body of the creature, so it's, we're basically inside a giant snake. Um, so you, uh, I'm not sure that we're necessarily like in the in the stomach of it. I guess we are, because there's like digestive fluids all around us. That's the intention. It wants to, it wants to digest us. <gasps> Ugh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's going to be a thing, <clears throat> by the way. There's going to be spikes. Like that. And you're supposed to do this. Like, Yep. See it? See that? That's fun. Ah! Oh my god. I can't turn fast enough. Turn! Let me just jump off. Yeah, so it's weird. This, this level's quite weird. Oh, she did. We get it back. But well, we're not done, by the way. We have to get out of here. I'm also not sure if we help her. I guess not. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> just leave her there. She's on her own. Fuck that lady. I agree, the music's pretty good. Yeah, see, I think it comes back to life. Which is very Super Mario World right there. And someone's gonna come in here now and be like, Well, actually, uh, Super Mario World got that from this other game. Oh, well, I guess he doesn't come back. Unless there's like an incredibly long timer. Oh, good, yeah, there's acid dripping from there. Yeah, love it. You'd love to see it. Oh! What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know why that happened, actually. I was really confused. I didn't grab. I, I'm sorry, what I meant is I got stuck grabbing. Grabbing? Oh my, why did it happen again? I have to jump and then move the arrows. That's perplexing. That's it. Yeah, so we get to the top and you're like, oh, what happened now? And, and it seems like you failed. Uh, this always scared me as a kid. And then I was like, oh, never mind. Yeah, actually this other guy over here just like sliced its head off. That's what happened just now. Yeah, apparently. It just sliced they that dude just sliced its head off. Doot doot. Oh my god, my legs are so cold right now. I made a very big mistake of not wearing pants right now. And I know all of you are gonna be like, no pants, you say. No, you fucking perverts. I mean that I'm wearing shorts. Short pants, if you will. <clears throat> Jen, are you still lurking around? If so, hello. I didn't really get to talk to you much. <clears throat> Anything secret? I knew there was something here. I don't know why I knew that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so now we've entered the... the, the uh, I, I would say expected um, ancient temple level. Oh, no. Oh, God. Why do I... Oh, 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 what's this? Oh, extra life. Okay, okay. Oh, no. Now I have to land on this again. Wait, I can't see it. God, 
Come on, no. I gotta be able to see it, right? Yeah, okay, good, good. Good, good. <clears throat> I'm gonna, am I gonna die? No. <clears throat> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of assumed this game's gonna be mean to me, because it's already done a lot of mean things. Oh, God. Wait, what is that guy? What's that all about? Don't kill me, little dude. Please, no. Don't bully me. No bully. I'm gonna kill you then. Oh, I see. I think I'm not supposed to kill him because he's got a little light. I assume if I kill him, there's not gonna be any more light anymore. Oh my god. Help? That was uh, horrifying in every way. Oh, good. That's gonna chase me? Is that right? <gasps> oh! You shitting me? What are you? Oh no! Good god, this game is just mean to you, dude. I guess we could just keep getting this life, huh? Yep, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna farm lives here because I'm a filthy farmer. I still don't know what this does, by the way. Maybe I need to test out what this silly feature does. Oh my. Excuse me, friend. I, I'm not gonna fight you because you seem like you're a useful little guy. I don't realize I could just jump over these. I think as a kid I always thought you. Oh god. Well, fuck it. I'm gonna kill this guy now. Kill him! Why won't he. Why can't I kill him? The fuck? <laughs> I don't know what has happened, by the way. That was really confusing. Um. Okay. I don't know what's happened, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> if I could. If I knew, I would explain. Hmm. Shen, how's your day? What kind of streams have you been hanging out in today? And no, I'm not judging you. I just actually want to know. Okay, I'm gonna jump on this. Jump over that, jump over this. How did I fuck that up that last time? That was actually quite easy. Okay, so now we gotta figure out what the hell's going on here. Okay, that's the solution. Fair enough. Oh, good. It just pushes me. What the fuck? Game! Why are you like this? This pushed me. What a bully. Oh, no. I remember this level. This level's a pain in the ass. It's extremely confusing. Oh, shit. Why did that scare me? It scared the shit out of me. <laughs> this game is stressing me, so me out so much, Kita, that your raid scared the shit out of me. Hello, furry raid. Oh my. Welcome everyone. Oh, I know. I know exactly what kind of kind of crowd it is when uh, when Kita arrives. There's a lot of uh, a lot of Sonic uh, fanfic artists, if you know what I'm saying, in Kita's channel. Welcome everyone. My name is Jose Segundo. Uh, for any of you that don't know me, um, I'm an I'm an indie game streamer, but I also do play a lot of retro games as well. As today we're playing a game called. Uh, um, game called RD Lightfoot, uh, which I played a lot as a kid. Um, I, I tried to, as usual, I tried to misrepresent this game to Kita. I was like, this game's easy, Kita, just try it. <laughs> it's not, this game's not easy at all. It's extremely hard and very frustrating. Game. Like, it, it's forgiving, but it's a very frustrating game because of the controls. Um, did you finish Sonic 2? I hope you did. Son the ending with Sonic 2 is a pain in the ass. I'm not going to tell you anything about it in case you didn't finish it, but I, I don't even remember if I've ever finished Sonic 2. It's fucking hard. The end is it's super hard. Oxford. Did you remember a shout out, Kita? I'm gonna check now. <laughs> You're killing me, Oxford. <laughs> I appreciate no no Oxford. I have to I have to make fun of you. I have to make fun of you. You went out of your way to be like, hi Kita, welcome Raiders, and then you <laughs> Got to shower out. <laughs> Everyone be nice to Oxford. Everyone be nice to Oxford. She is new to modding. Uh, I, okay, that's a good good answer. That's a good answer, Oxford. I, I actually... There's many mods in chat right now. Like Lily, Orvix. T technically, Kita's a mod, but I don't think she likes to be a mod. What is your personal um, opinion on that? Because I personally, as a moderator, do what Oxford just mentioned, which is I, I wait, I try to wait 
for the raid messages to end so that I can actually like shout out effectively, right? But some people, I'm gonna I'm gonna say who it is. It's Squiz. <laughs> Squiz values speed. Squiz Squiz gets in there. He gets in there quick. And gets out quick. I'm not, I'm gonna, I'll leave that on the table. You guys have fun with that statement. But he does. He's very quick with the, with, with the shout outs and especially on Penny's channel. And I feel like it's too quick because I feel like uh, usually what happens is you get the shout out in and then you get like like uh, like Oxford was saying perhaps like ten raid messages and then you're like ah oh, and it, it just gets lost like exactly it just gets lost. You're always too slow to think. Oh, <laughs> Lily's not a tryhard. She's just actually a proper mod retro. <laughs> all of, all the rest of us are just pretenders. Lily is a proper mod actually. <laughs> You usually race to shout people out first because you know Corvix would do it again too. That's fair. That's actually a good point because Corvix will indeed spam it again. So that's actually a fair point. Usually shout them out and give them again. Yeah, I, I try to do that actually. I What I do is I... I'll be honest with you guys. I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. I often like to play dumb with... um, I like to play dumb with uh, with shout outs. And I'll like... I'll I'll let the shout out happen if it does happen. And then like after they're done, everyone is done, I'll, I'll be like... Hey, did anyone get the shout out, um, you know, Kita? And if, if they didn't, I'll do it myself, right? Because I'd, I'd like to just draw attention to it again. Um, but this game, Jesus Christ, this game. This game is called Artie Lightfoot. And as you can see, by this bullshit happening right now, this game is mean as fuck. It's, really, <laughs> it's quite mean. I don't know how I played this game as a kid and didn't just get extremely high levels of stress. I can't stop that. I could have sworn I could kill the bomb. Jeez Louise. It's fucking oh my god you fucking little bastard okay so that little guy's a dick i'm just, I'm just putting that out there wait so why didn't that go away oh i'm supposed to use that no they're very cute god damn it but yeah so the controls the way the controls work in this game is there's two different ways to attack which is you have this little dude and you can toss him and eat, he'll eat things also by the way i never realized how gruesome he looks like check this out Look at those teeth. He's an angry kid. He's an angry little thing. Like, Kirby just kind of sucks things in, right? You know, he's in his shoney. He's in, like, bare his teeth. Look at this thing. <laughs> it's a vicious little creature. Oh, my. Eat him. Eat him. There you go. Now run away. He better not respawn. He pissed. Good, good. Okay, what? Oh, I need that to break this. Yeah, so this game has this concept of uh, of bombs, and it's a pain in the ass, by the way. I mean, that's also fair. Throwing the animal itself is also concerning, right? By the way, any of you people who think that like Mario's a nice guy, Mario, Super Mario, you know, might have heard of him. If you played, if you watched the Super Mario movie, his name is Mario Mario, by the way. Mario Mario. First name Mario, surname Mario. So anyway, he's a dick, because if you actually look at the animation in Super Mario World, he literally punches Yoshi in the back of the head to make him go, oh, that's how he does that, so. Fuck that guy. It's animal cruelty. Get him. There you go. Hey, <laughs> this is a dick. The first time I noticed that, I was like, oh my god. I think I saw it as a kid. And I was like, why does he do that? That's just mean. Because, you know, at the time I had dogs, you know, like I had, I had a dog. So I was like thinking in my head, like, man, I want to punch my dog. That just seems really mean. Like, why would he do that? Like, you know, as a little kid, you know, speaking as a child. <laughs> why is that little guy there? Quite suspicious. I can't kill him either. By the way, I don't know what these are. Are they frogs? I don't know. Carnage. Kita is still your most, <laughs> your most active mod. Did you mod retro? Why haven't you modded retro? I'm just asking. Retro is a good mod. I don't know. He strikes me as a good mod. He's certainly always present. I don't know, Kita. We were just talking about this. Uh, if, so Ben discovered something perplexing. Ben discovered that allegedly Artie is a um, a cat, which I don't think he's a cat. Like he looks nothing like a cat. Like nothing about this says cat to me. I always thought he was a squirrel, actually. But then we actually met like a flying squirrel character earlier. Um, so there's a lot of annoying gimmicks and puzzles in this game, by the way. Uh, so you see this little dude down here? 
Uh, we need to actually make him go up and try to bite us so that we can jump jump on his tail. So we can go up there. I think Weasel would make more sense too. Oh my god, look at that go. Oh, it's supposed to go up here. Well, there you go. That explains everything. This is a, I need to pick that up for something, right? Yo, fuck it. I can't remember this area. Okay. Ah! Can I put it down? I can't. No, you idiot. Eat that. Eat him. Metro is VIP and you abuse him for retro knowledge, so he has no time. <laughs> that, that's fair. That's a good point. Tail? Tail says cat. Face says squirrel. Hat says mercury. Greek god of haste and communication. I mean, his name is already Lightfoot, right? So yes, I, the, the hat is clearly the that aspect of it. Uh, is Hermes the Roman version? I'm, I'm blanking on that. I'm sorry. I, I don't know my mythology very well, to be fully honest with you. My wife would be so upset about that. Well, that's a bad thing. You don't want to do that, actually. Well, shit. Does that go away? Nope. Nope. I fucked it. Uh, okay, just walk. Fair enough. Oh, my God. Oh! Fuck it. Run. Run. Run, Artie. Oh, my God. We're fucked. We're <laughs> it's over! Oh! Oh, jeez. Why? Why is this game so damn mean, dude? Is that enough? Yeah. We did it. We did it, boys. Yay! There you go. <clears throat> Roman is Mercury. Greek is Hermes. There you go. Oh, god damn it. Just get the shit out of me. Fucking frog thing. Just popped them in out of nowhere. <clears throat> She's too high to hear. <laughs> Lily. Lily, I would be honored to mod you in this channel, but I don't think it's fair to you. You need to sleep, and I stream super late. Part partly the reason why I have moderators... Part sorry, the, the reason I have the moderators I do is because they're actually... For some, they somehow find the time. Oh, the fucking... I hate this level. Oh, the stupid rat. Um, so there's two people that are my, um, my, my mods. Um, two categories of people. Um, people that are actually present here, and people who are longtime friends of the channel. Uh, and by long time, I mean like literally from when it began. So that's why that's why Danny is still a mod, right? Uh, even though he's like never here. <laughs> and and the people who are here all the time somehow uh would be like squiz like squiz literally here all the time he might be lurking right now even though he's streaming and so that's why he's a moderator uh, now do, do i trust him as a moderator that's a fair that's a fair question <laughs> i'm not entirely sure squiz fucks around a lot <laughs> it's uh but oxford i i i modded because she actually does good mod things. Yeah, the slander. There you go. That not all. <laughs> He's slandering me again. Fantastic. I'm not surprised to hear it at all. That sounds right, Shen. Shen is over here, like, getting all the drama out there. Oh my god. Uh, uh, th there's mimic chests in this game. I forgot about that shit. Good god. If anyone ever mods, you'll be an insta ban. Like in your channel? Or then would you ban yourself from my channel if I did that? If I didn't have damn work, I mean, <laughs> Lily, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you'd you you'd mod for you, but you put it oh with for Carnage, yeah, yeah. Kind of funny how Lily is best mod on Twitch and she's wasted. <laughs> she does work on your stream. She does work all your time, all the time. Um, you mean because not a lot of stuff happens in your stream? That's understandable. Um, th to be honest, the reason that I I, I uh, modded uh, Oxford is because she's actually like a <laughs> a surprisingly good moderator without trying to be a moderator. Like she was like a, one time she was here and she was trying to control chat and have people not be not be spammy or be annoying, right? Uh, and she does stuff like that all the time. But she'd be like, "Hey, Jose, does, Jose doesn't want us to do that. Do this, right?" And I'm like, "Man, she's actually like way better than Squiz. <laughs> you can tell him right now. <laughs> and Ox, man, Oxford's really like, put like you know, like doing amazing right now. So I was like, I guess I should, I probably should ask her if she wants to be a mod. <laughs> but Squiz by far is my best mod right now. Uh, purely uh, to be fair, purely because of. Uh, of time <laughs> like no one can no one can defeat squiz right now because of how long he's been a mod oh she does really good work on your scuff stream oh come on no no shit talking your stream here kita oh mouse 
Just basically hiss at people in Kita streams to get too simpy. That doesn't happen much in this stream. Luckily. I don't get too many creepy people. <clears throat> I mean, surprisingly that has- oh god. This is gonna chase me now. Where do I go? Just jump it? Oh, it's surprisingly quick. Oh no! Oh no! Do I need to push this? Yeah, probably. What? Run! Run, Artie, you idiot. <gasps> oh my god, that caused a bonk. That scared the shit out of me. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I, to be honest with you, I actually have had people that... <laughs> yeah, even even me... Oh my god. Even me, uh, a guy on Twitch, has actually had like weirdos say things to me. Uh, which is kind of funny, because when it does happen, it's just kind of like... Like, this makes me laugh. Like, I don't know how to react to it. Um, but it's a very different situation than, like, you know, when it when happens to a lady, obviously. <gasps> what the fuck? Why did I start running? What has happened? Oh. That's true. And that's okay. That's that's actually, like, constructive bullying, I think. Okay, so some of these are, f are trick platforms. How do you know which ones are not? Is that a thing? No, that one's a bullshit platform, too. Oh, the ones that have a crack on it are okay. Yeah, I guess. That one. I don't. I don't know. Fuck. I don't fucking get it. I don't understand. <gasps> I thought I was gonna fall. You guys actually saw Taka? I haven't seen. I haven't ever seen him. Like, I. I mean, that's not true. I've seen Taka around, right? But like, it's like a very, very infrequent. Boss room already? Oh no! I don't even understand what to do here. Is that the game box in the background? Is that the game? It is. It is indeed. Yes. I'm not playing it on, on <laughs> unofficial hardware, no. Um, I merely put it here to show that I do indeed own the game. <clears throat> but yes, I still have it from when I was a little kid. I actually found it. Why am I holding it so fucking weird? I'm like, you guys want to see the game? Here you go. I'm like, <laughs> why am I holding it like that? What a fucking idiot. Hold on. Let me hold it like a normal human being. There we go. Yeah. Artie Lightfoot. <clears throat> oh no. That's funny. I see. I understand what happened now. <clears throat> it takes practice. I mean, yeah. It, it clearly. I, I need to actually like, learn how to do it. So I think this is a boss and I don't remember how to fight it. It's a fucking genie. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can we take... Can we like just talk about this buff ass genie right here? Who actually has like a like a surprisingly well rendered face? Like a human face. We haven't seen a single human entire time in this game, and yet this guy, he's just like, yeah. I'm a handsome ass buff motherfucker. That's who I am right here. I didn't see that coming. Yeah, he's really creepy. I I agree, Lily. Um shit, I don't know what to do, by the way. Probably jumping. Need to hop on him? Oh no. Don't 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 bully me, bro. I don't know what you want. What what do you want me to do? Can you stop jiggling your muscles at me, dude? It's a little a little weird. What the fuck? What am I supposed to do? There's bones. Am I supposed to Oh my god. Is he gonna hit me? Am I supposed to I think I'm supposed to bonk him, right? What in the world? I didn't do anything! <laughs> what? That's like my only way to attack! Uh... I do! I do indeed! <laughs> yeah, it's right there, Retro. Right right behind me. Oh, I see. I need to, I need to hit the, the lantern. The lamp. The lantern. The lamp. I don't know if I said that in the most American accent ever. I got to hit the lamp. I don't know why I said it that way. Get over here, you dick! What are you doing? Get down here. <laughs> Stop flexing your muscles awkwardly and come at me, bro. Oh! I'm sorry? Why didn't I... Oh, I guess his, <laughs> his head has like a weird hitbox. <laughs> what in the world is happening? I don't understand this. Okay, so but by the way, uh, serious question um, for you, uh, 
you Europeans or UKers, because I guess that's a complicated question. Um, does anyone? So was this game actually popular in your regions? Because uh, I'm, I'm perplexed by that concept because this game was in no way popular in in, in the U.S. I can't jump. Jeez, I think I'm supposed to jump like immediately on his head. <gasps> Look at the, you guys see that? Like it's just going nuts. Do I need to jump on his arms? Okay. Um, we did it. Very unknown in Australia. I'd imagine so. It was unknown here, certainly. You never heard of this? Oh, God. Second puzzle? Second puzzle. You guys love- don't you guys love puzzle bosses? What's happening? Oh no. By the way, those spikes look brutal. This is gonna be fun. We have to chase a mouse. I'm sorry I got him, actually. Sir? I call bullshit on that? Karen? It's got any Karens in chat that can call the manager on that shit? I hit that fucker. Do I have to bonk him? God. No, man. I have no idea what has happened, by the way. I have no clue what has occurred. I think I was supposed to just touch the mouse, but I did that numerous times, I thought, but... Oh yeah, this is, this is interesting, by the way. Yeah, we're just gonna run, by the way. We have another recourse. And this happens. And probably a lot of you are like, who the fuck is that? Um, well, he... <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember anymore. Uh, that's a guy who sh who has saved our lives a few times. I imagine he's just, like, a local hero. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't understand what they are. Yeah, we get a cutscene about it, and he's like, who was that? Um, and then, like, it, that's it. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. Like, the game, like... I, I, I guess the reason I find it funny is because the... There's obviously lore. Look at this. Like, we have this guy who's uh, presumably is. He's the next boss. Okay. Yeah, because we beat up this mole, by the way. Long lost dad? I can see that. Well, we never saw the fox girl before, though. We're getting a recap? We just played this. We don't need a recap, man. The porcupine is like. This guy's already fucked up three of our guys. I need you to bring your fucking A-game. He's like, will do, sir. Will do. <clears throat> You're also making a, a hot, uh, quite a prediction that I'm actually going to finish this game. <laughs> I'm going to do my best, but <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh, no. Oh. Music's pretty top tier in this game so far. I'm enjoying myself. Dude. Mm -hmm. Is that gonna sink? No. It is. I think it is sinking. That scared the shit out of me. Wee! Ah! Oh, what the fuck? We get we get hit by a little cheap. <laughs> oh no! Well, I just realized that's uh, that's kind of funny. Um, when I say cheap, do you know what I mean by that? Like, do you guys have those little super sugary snacks? Easter snacks? Literally just a cake, a, a, a marshmallow, a sugar marshmallow. How much is this worth, I'll say? Uh, I don't know. It's a good question. Cheap. Yeah, that's how it's spelled. Cheap. Uh, it's literally just, it's just like a little, like a little chicken. Like a little baby chicken. Yeah, we have these things called like, uh, like bunnies and cheeps. Uh, during, um, that we have during, um, Easter. And yes, they are... They're just marshmallows shaped like the animal. They're just being tossed. They're being tossed overboard. What the hell? Brutal, hamster! How dare you? You're gonna hit me with that, aren't you? I'm very perplexed by everything that's happening right now. The fuck is this? Oh, it's a, it's my little dude. You guys imagine the little furry dude thing right now? Because I don't have that. 
I don't know if he's furry though, but a little furry dude. That one, yeah. But he's not actually furry, so that's fair. Just a little, little chubby dude. He's gonna drop it on me. Oh my. Please don't. No bully, please. Oh, you dick. I knew that was gonna happen. And I did nothing. I knew it. Hit him. Fuck him up. <laughs> Poor little guy. You looked it up. $300. You shitting me? Retro. Are you memeing? There's no way. There's no way this game is $300. It's certainly not in perfect condition either. I'll show you the case right now. If you want to look at it. This music's so good. Whee! Whee! <gasps> oh my god. That was terrifying. Uh, am I going up? No. Oh, I guess I can, but I don't need to, huh? Why am I going up here? By the way, if you're wondering, is am I supposed to go over this way? No, actually. Peeps, peeps. Oh, I'm so sorry, peeps. Did I say I said cheeps, didn't I? <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah, peeps, peeps. I don't eat a lot of sugary stuff. What are the bunnies called? Are they, are they just called bunnies? I don't even know. Like, I, don't, <laughs> I haven't eaten that shit since I was a little kid. I love how we're being attacked by hamsters. I don't know why I find that so funny. By the way, you don't need to go this way at all. Uh, you can go just go down. So perhaps I'm being a, being a dumbass right now. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I said I was going to show Retro the, the case. <clears throat> yeah, so the case, as you can tell, is a little bit squished. So it's not, it's not perfect, right? Um, but the game itself is actually pretty decent quality. I'll show you. It's just a little bit dirty. Yeah. The game itself is actually fine. And it does actually even have the instructional booklet still. Just need to make sure I clean it. But yeah. For me, it's a childhood game, so I'm not really super worried about using it as an investment vehicle <laughs> of any kind. Uh, but it is pretty interesting to know that it's actually a rare game. I, I suppose I'll look it up. I didn't even consider searching for it. On eBay. Because I was think I would... I kind of would have never think of selling it, to be honest. It's nice to know that I accidentally have a rare game in my collection. The more you know. That's fair. If you had the box, that, that's that's good enough. Um. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why how, the hell I said the wrong name. Um, I think I've, I think I've called them cheeps. Maybe I called them that when I was a little boy. I don't know. <laughs> it's been so long. But yeah, peeps. You're absolutely right. They're called peeps. Do we have the Lind bunnies? I don't think so. I don't think we even have that brand at all here. By the way, my wife and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this, but I know it's gonna it's gonna cause Kita to rant at me because last time I mentioned it, Kita was like, "Oh, Jose is so fucking rich, he, he can hire a nanny." I'm gonna say it anyway. My wife and uh, and and our nanny uh, made like a bunch of food last time, and they they made like really like really good like eggplant lasagna, and then they also made these like uh, super good uh, cookies. I guess they're oatmeal cookies? Oatmeal with like M&Ms and shit. Hey, Tondagosa, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, I know who you are. Yeah. Um, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, you, you being a proper retro streamer. Uh, I'm, I'm merely a pretender here. <laughs> Welcome. I've seen you lurking around uh, Kita's channel, but and I've also been lurking your channel. Emphasis on the lurking part. Oh my. Get him. Do, 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 do. Did anyone go to snitch? Uh, me? Like, oh, to, to Squiz? I don't think so. I don't think anyone's on Squiz's side. <laughs> that sounds funny. What am I doing? Okay, I'm still going this way. You were lurking in Kita's and then up here? Oh, I appreciate it. I appreciate the follow regardless. I, I, I know you are indeed a Kita key, a lurker. Oh, there's a boss here. Hmm. You know, <laughs> proper. Oh my god. 
Look, she, she's always ready. She's ready to pounce. Most people don't have the cases. Oh, no, you were talking about earlier. She's always re Akita's always ready to pounce on me in these occasions. Okay, we need to change the music here. The boss music is always the same. It's always the same. Um, by the way, uh, um, may, may I ask how to say your name? I've always just wanted... I assumed your name was T Tonda? Tonda? But I don't know how what the intended pronunciation of your name is. I'll be happy to learn it. Um, also, have you ever played this game? Uh, as you being a retro enjoyer. Um, I'm very casual retro enjoyer in the sense that I've like I've played a lot of games, re replayed a lot of games from my childhood. This is actually a game from my own childhood. Um, but I've also played just like other games that I was very interested in, right? Um, but um, trying to do original hardware streams is something I want to get to, but something that I'm not able to do yet. I don't have the right equipment. And of course, you know, trying to sort out <laughs> the logistics of it is challenging. Another person who causes confusion for naming. Hello, Cloudy Tempest. I'm just going to call you Cloudy Tempest because I always feel weird clouding you, calling you Tempest or Cloudy. <laughs> How you said it is fine? Tonda? Okay, okay. There's no official pronunciation. Oh, God. <laughs> Immediate death. Oh, wait. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, what do we do? What is his tech? Okay, so he flies around. Oh, no. He flies between platforms. Okay. And then what? He shoots it at me? Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you ever land in the middle? I'm sorry? What happened? Okay. Well. So middle. Go to the middle immediately. Duck. I mean, it's just easier now, Tempest. If I call you Tempest, it always feels weird. How did I hit? I don't understand how I got hit there. I need to go all the way around? That's confusing. We'll try it again, but I think... Oh! <laughs> The world. He has fucking. <laughs> he has missiles. Okay, let's try it. No, you can't do that. Okay, you must go over him. Wow, this is a weird fight. Okay, so you have to do it from here. We just. Oh my god, he's so fast. Okay. So by the way, this is this game uses five hits on bosses. Five hits. GG, I guess? No? <gasps> what the fuck? Um. Help? <laughs> Did, what happened? Oh no, I know what happened. I hit the boss on the head. And it pushed me too high. It pushed me too high above the screen. And it thought I left the boss arena. Jeez, what the fuck? How do I do <laughs> Oh no! So I can't hit him in the head when he's up there. The game won't understand what to do. But it didn't do anything this time! That makes no sense! <laughs> Retro Crew Unite! Retro Sanctuary, where are you? We need you right now, Retro. What in the world just happened? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I need to just hop it. I'm scared now. I'm not going to try to pogo him. Oh my gosh. This boss... <laughs> it's insane. By the way, this game was meant for children to try to beat it. Like, imagine that. Imagine being a child who has, who has... Who has to try to beat this game. Squiz, hello. Thank you for the raid, my dude. <laughs> Niche this. <laughs> Yes, did Shen tell you what happened? Did Snitch- Did, did Snitch- I almost called him Snitch. Did Shen tell you what he's been doing over here? Shen has been spreading all kinds of- All kinds of drama. He's- He's probably one of those people that- That quote tweets people on- On Twitter. To call out how they're- They're a bad person or something. Okay. Jump. Okay. Hello everyone who doesn't know me from Squiz's channel. My name is Jose El Segundo. Uh, I'm a retro streamer uh, sometimes. Sometimes I'm an indie game streamer. Um, sometimes I break games, as I just did. I have a, I have a strong knack for breaking games. Um, we have one life. One life to rule them all now. Oh my god, he's so fast. Fucking owl. Oh, why did that hit me? 
what hit me? Good God, this game is confusing. Okay. We dead? No, we're not dead. This game works off a of zero scale, so this game was absolutely designed by programmers. Yeah, zero is the first number if you're a programmer, by the way. <gasps> fucking god, I forgot he had missiles. Why would a fucking owl have missiles? Why would I expect that? By the way, I actually beat this boss earlier. Oh, I can just keep going? What does that mean? What does this mean? Oh, okay. If I want to give up, I can go left to get the password. There we go. There we go. You did it. <laughs> Adding. Oh yeah, that's when that's when you say don't at me, right? That's right, Oxford. So I'm not super familiar with the Twitter drama. I'm not a not a not a good tweeter. I just casually use Twitter. I don't really like partake in too much in flame wars. Oh, don't cheat me, bro. <laughs> don't peep me, bro. Shen is the the kind of guy who writes her advice. <laughs> Accurate. Accurate. Do you guys like the soundtrack of this game? I, I certainly do. I'm an enjoyer of the soundtrack. Wrecked. How in the world did I miss that? Do 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 do. Yeah. So earlier, by the way, guys, I I killed that boss. I I got all five hits, and then the game, it, <laughs> it reset the boss fight. I just went back in there. I I don't know how to explain it any better than that. Like I beat the boss, and the game was like, nah, nah, nah you do that again. Please do it again. You somewhat like this game, but you don't love it. That's exactly how I feel about this game, Retro. This game is not a, like, love-hate game for me in any way. It's just not a pure love kind of game. It, it's fine. It'll do. You know? It was certainly fun for me as a little kid. Oh my god, look at that. That was close. What the fuck? <laughs> it's not looking good, lads and ladies. It's not looking good at all. What in the world happened there? Do 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 do. Whee! Gotta stay positive, guys. And kill these little guys. These, these adorable little dudes. These little furry dudes. They're not furry. They're f feathery. What is the edge? I'm trying to figure out what is the edge of this boat. Look at that. Like we're hanging off of it. I legitimately don't know what the edge of the boat is. Look at that. We're not even on it. I don't get it. I think I just walked off her. <laughs> I don't know how to react to that. I wasn't moving and I fell off. That's um. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> don't kill me, little guy. We're not gonna make this fine. Apparently, this game has unlimited continues. Last life, cl yeah, it is, it's, that's how we're gonna do it. The <laughs> I mean, Tonda, what else could I have done, right? What, what, how else does one react to that? What else can men do in the face of such hate? Bullying, if you will. Look at that it's fucking photo finish, man. Oh man, what? Oh, I see, I see what that was. Let's try again. Let's try to play this game correctly again this time. At least the music's good. Do, do. Hmm. Do, do, do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Retro of the various categories. And and Tonda, of course. Both of your retro enjoyers and Kita oh, as well. Of the various genres of retro, what do you feel is your favorite? I feel like as a retro gamer, right, you kind of just like get used to like most things being a platformer, but certainly that's not the case, right? There's a variety of things out there. 
could have like you know really old art like you know uh, old school rpgs you know stuff like that like i'm, I'm still a platformer guy um that's that's been my my thing for a long time how do i get down there without falling <gasps> what in the world you can't just walk off of that it's impossible to walk off of that you love to see it action adventure and exploration okay okay run and gun interesting choice retro you don't see too many of those though right i mean i guess i, I don't really interact with too many of those of that genre like, I guess that's a good question, right? It's a question of percentages here. How many retro games are run and gun versus um, versus platforming, right? I feel like platforming is going to be the most represented demographic. Well, I guess I'm not, I'm not really well versed enough on RPGs, right? So I don't really know. Is there like a massive portion of RPGs out there? And I'm just uh, un uncultured. <laughs> How in the world do I get... There you go. There you go. Yeah, so I, I think I would describe... When I was a kid, Tonda, I think I described games that I liked as adventure games. Now, I don't know if that's accurate, right? But that's what I called them. That's, that's what made the most sense to me. Please don't knock me off again. Retro movie games? Or your Retro movie games? What does that even mean? Do you mean... Like... Things that you were licensed games of movies? Because that's intriguing. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. What does she mean by that? I'm intrigued. It is quite broad, right? That's kind of why I described it that way, Tonda, because I kind of didn't understand how to make, me make it more precise. Really? That's really that's a really intriguing niche, Lily. But I feel like you haven't played a ton of those, though, Like at least on your channel. By the way, anyone who is unaware of that, uh, Squiz, could you please give a shout out to Lily? Um, earlier, Kita rated us, but please give a shout out to Lily because Lily is also a retro streamer and not always a retro streamer. She's also just like, I think, just an, a person who appreciates eclectic games, um, sometimes to her detriment because they're like <laughs> not the best kind of games, but uh, she, she somehow makes them entertaining. And I, I appreciate that about her stream. Eclectic. Yeah, that's the best way to say it. You do love weird games. So I can see I think I can see why you like those kind of games, right? Because you're you're an enjoyer. Oh my god, I almost fell. Of of weird games. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that one, exactly. Oh my god, I didn't see that little bastard. Dang it. You misspelled it. There you go. Which, which game was that? It, it was called Hong Kong 97, right? That was the name of the game, right? Yeah, <laughs> that game was hilarious. God, that game is so weird. Like we were we were watching that game when um, uh, when Lily was streaming it and like all of us were wondering like, is this gonna play something extremely TOS? Because it was just so weird that we half expected to see some strange random propaganda or like like a, a random super violent scene like we were because there was like you wouldn't call it full motion video in any way right but it was like it, it seemed to be showing like very poor very very low resolution images of real life events at times and i was like what in the world <laughs> and it was it was fucking bizarre it was really oh shit um okay don't land on the little birdie okay so we're at the boss again um Despite our, despite probably the best choices in our lives, but we're gonna do it. Oh, how did that hit me? I don't understand. Oh, when he flies. I don't get it, dude. I do not get it. Goodness, I don't get it. I do not understand this boss's hitbox at all. This boss is just really testing my knowledge. I, I don't understand. I don't understand it at all. Okay, so that doesn't hit me for some reason. That did hit me because I did it too early. That's fair. Do, 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 do. Music's... At least I, I like the music anyway. <gasps> too early! Gosh. I get better at 
<laughs> God damn it, Squiz. <laughs> did you see? Did I? Did you see what I told you uh, earlier? Um, so I, I actually. Um, oh my! Get in here. I actually uploaded a stupid video of like how that one time we caused a meme to occur. Uh, basically, it was a long story where I told them I told chat about this ridiculous situation that happened to Mandy, otherwise known as What's Her Face, um, and she. Oh, we're gonna lose 100%. We're gonna lose this. Let's see, he's trying to time it. Oh my god, he's so fast. Um, where, like, she posted about playing a game called Returnal. And this creepy dude, like, commented on her video, uh, on her post, I'm sorry, on Twitter. And was like, I love when girls play Returnal, right? And it was, like, super weird. And we was like, oh, what the fuck, right? It was just, like, really uncomfortable. <laughs> and so after that, it became a channel meme. Of, of Mandy's. Hey, we won. We bought. We defeated the boss when I wasn't paying attention. Classic Jose. Classic me right there. Um, and it, it was so awkward in every way possible. And uh, so she started making fun of it, right? So she had like a little voice modulator that she uses. So she was like, she made like a deep voice. She was like, "I love it when girls play Returnal," right? And that's the way. That's the way she did that. And and so we. I was telling them the story, right? And and then of course, Squiz being the fucking memer that he is. He made an account. He made an account called Girl Girl Playing Returnal immediately. Uh, and I was like, oh my god, this is great. And then Manse just like knocked it out of the park and gave gifted a sub to Girl Playing Returnal of, for me. So then it looked like it was me doing it. And we're like, oh no. Oh no, this is perfect. We have to go we have to go raid her so that we can actually like incriminate me. And we did, and it was a big mess and it was funny. Um so yeah, I I, I Made an edited video of that occurrence. Wait! <laughs> he just fucking knocked out the old man! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. That dude just decked that old man. Brutal. Oh, this music? The music in this game is really not disappointing me. I'm loving it. You need to go to sleep now. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> we're gonna enjoy our furry game. Don't you worry, Lily. Have a good night, Lily. And I, I think you did get your shout out. Um, sorry, I was middle of the story when that happened. Um, let me make sure I catch everyone. Okay. Yeah, I, I did introduce my, I did introduce myself. I'm sorry. To Squiz's channel. Um. Yeah, I haven't been able to go to Squiz's channel recently too too much. So I actually think the the introduction was necessary. Oh my god! The fuck? That was like body horror. Hey man, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not gonna be like, dude, I'm always there. Like, dude, like, no, I've I've been super busy at work. I mean, I barely get to go to Penny's channel these days. Is that death? No. Oh. Oh my. Yeah, yeah. Oxford's a mod now. Yeah, part of the slander, I think Shen was trying to uh, document was the fact that I. I said that I chose Oxford to be a mod because I thought she was actually doing really effective modding in general, uh, and I, I joked that uh, that she she was she's now the best mod. Uh, and then I said, in in all seriousness, you know, Squiz is still the best mod by far. But it I assumed as soon as I said that she was a good mod, it was it was all over for me, and Shen was gonna go tell you that now I think you're a shitty mod or something. <laughs> no, that's the wrong one. It's the wrong one. You. Or did you just want to comment on the fact that you're a v that I thought you were a virile man, a viral, viral, viral? Oh, the bot is denying it. See, the bot doesn't even believe you, man. The bot's like, I don't know about that. Wait, I can pick these up. No. Weird. There we go. Finally, <laughs> it's a fucking bot. It's like fuck you, Squiz. <laughs> oh shit! Get wrecked. We just got speared. What the fuck? Who threw a spear at me? What in the world? Oh my god, I have to run through this. this game's brutal. Oh, run! Oh, that thing. Can I break it? Nope. 999. There's so much to snitch on, bro. <laughs> you didn't keep track of everything. <laughs> Tall order for Oxford, but it'll take. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of tough to compare against Oxford, right? That's fair. Oh, those little fishy dudes. Is he gonna jump at me? <laughs> okay. 
spooked me. There's probably spikes down there. I'm sure I cannot jump in the water. By the way, this is the, this is the farthest I've ever gotten in this game. I only dox one man on this stream, and that is Squiz. <laughs> Squiz my balls, I will dox you any day. You watch yourself. <laughs> the context of that is so great. Yeah, have I ever explained to you guys about how that time that I the time that I dox Squiz? Oh my god, I didn't mean to fall in here. Fucking hell. What? What? Oh, I need to put that there. I see. Okay, I need a life. That's fair. This is, this is probably a trap, isn't it? No, it isn't. Okay. Yeah, so one time... Why does that keep spawning again? Uh, one time... <laughs> What's happening? You can just farm things here. Okay. Um, uh, Squiz had told... Did you... I can't remember anymore. Did you tell me where you lived? Like, what country you live in? I can't remember how I discovered where you lived. Um, but one time, I was hanging out with another streamer. Uh, and she... She happened to, like, mention that she lived in the same country as Squiz. And I was like, oh, okay. And like, I kind of just casually mentioned to her that that was, that was true, right? And, and then that, oh, that, uh, that Squiz was from her country. And, I and then Squiz was like, <laughs> Squiz got super offended by it. He's like, dude, what? What the fuck, man? Why'd you tell her? <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, she lives in your country. Uh, and I, I know, I, I guess I was unaware of the politics, the politics of his region. And I was not supposed to tell him. Tell her. You've been watching her for months, and you didn't say anything. You hadn't said a single goddamn thing for months. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Were you like, like, just trying to get the inside info because she didn't know you spoke her language? Is that what it is? That's pretty good, actually. If that's the case. Oh no. Uh. Exactly, you found it funny that she- Oh, I see! You thought it was funny. I gotcha. Oh my god! Can I even get out of here? Nope. Oh, I can. I guess kind of. Oh, because she would swear a lot in her stream. That's funny. <gasps> whoa, baby, whoa. Can I even make it over there? Probably not. I bet she's gonna kill me. Is that gonna kill me? Let's find out. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get speared in the ass right now. You guys ever get speared in the ass? I haven't, but... Uh, okay. This is fine. This is fine. Oh god. What the fuck was that? Oh no. Huh? I have to wa- Oh no. Are you kidding me? I have to jump on those? Dude, why are you so mean, game? <laughs> what in the world? How am I supposed to land that? Jeez, this game is mean, dude. <laughs> what if someone said yes? I mean, I'll I'll listen. You know, I'll I'll listen. I'm intrigued on how that worked, and I don't know how that how that would go. Right? It could be intriguing content. That's actually why I asked that question. I, I'm always expecting someone to be a weirdo and actually just say yes and be like, "Let's go with it. Let's go with it." <laughs> you, everybody knows where you're from, Shin. You're very you're, you're very um, open about your Frenchness. Every other Tuesday! <laughs> I just saw what you said. Oh my god. Oh! Wrecked. Jump, run, just run for it. God, this game is mean, dude. Good lord. I mean, it's not gonna work for you. How would it work? Oh my god, we got hit in the face. The fucking skull. Kita, you should play this game. This game is very, uh, very relaxed. This is great for a chill stream. If you just want to relax, this is a great game. You should play it. I'm sure you're seeing the evidence of that right now. <laughs> Doc Shen, what were we gonna make it though? Like I've never actually. Oh, the clip of just me telling people that he's French. <laughs> That's not a very interesting clip. Everybody knows that Shen is French. He tells everyone. Like Shen specifically comments, Vive la France. 
<laughs> like, literally that statement. He's not not shy about his Frenchness. Run, run, run! Oh my god, run! Okay, now we're gonna get scold by this dick over here. Um, did I own? Not many, unfortunately. Uh, retro. I lost so many. Um, so, let me tell you a sad story. My mother gave away a ton of my games because she's, uh, she's mean. We're just gonna understand what they meant to me, right? <laughs> I'm not seeing you, Shen. <laughs> oh my god, Shen. So, the, the only games that I still have in my possession, um, because all the other ones were given away, is, um, is Artie Lightfoot and, uh, Tiny Toons Buster Bust Loose. That's the only one I've got left. Yeah, mums. Oh my god, I was so sad about that carnage. It was so sad when I discovered how many of them were actually missing. Ah, <sighs> depressing. Shen might be an Italian. You think that, they, that Shen is an Italian who's trying to slander the French? That would be interesting. <gasps> he has a fucking boomerang skull. Good lord. Kita, like this game is clearly a lot of fun, right? Like... <laughs> This game is this game is very fair and, and very entertaining. You should you should play this game, 100. percent You should play this game, Keaton. Then mums and getting rid of games. Yeah. You don't even have to wait. They will they won't be able to. They will not be able to name another more iconic duo. <laughs> now we're done for. Because now I have to do this hit list, and it's impossible for me. I did it! Holy shit! There we go. That's how you do it. Mamma mia! Que pasta! Accurate. Accurate. Italian impression. Shen. It's very... <laughs> it's a, you might as well have done the, uh, The Brad Pitt Bongiorno from, um... To, from the... <laughs> Inglorious Bastards. Okay, is he, just, is he just gonna keep tossing the skull? Okay, that's helpful. Because now I know where he is. <laughs> oh, fuck this guy. There we go. Bonk them. That's how you do. You bonk them in the head. On the head. How would there be a platform here? We well, beat the level, I guess. There's that. Good morning, hi Hyloon. Oh, it's already Monday for you. Yeah, mo it's already Monday for Hyloon. He's already at work. How do I get over there? Killing Queen. <laughs> Also, I'm pretty confident that you're spelling that in Spanish, Shen, not in Italian, the que. I don't think they spell que that way. That's definitely Spanish. Oh my god, the smokes. Oh no, what's, what's below me? I was absolutely confident there were spikes down there. Is that a... This enemy, who has at no point shown any te technological progress, Apparently has security cameras. You guys see that? There's a security camera right there. It's gonna see me. I don't think there's any way to avoid it seeing me. Uh, what? You ban yourself. What does it do when it sees me? I don't understand at all. Can I break it? No. Nope. I don't understand what's happening at all. Oh, my hair. It's so straight. By the way, if I if I play my cards right, Oxford, I end up having this like super sweet bloodborne character, like uh colonial hair. You see how there's like a little flare here? You you bloodborne enjoyers know exactly what I mean by that. But like there's like this little like it goes down and then it like puffs and then it goes down again. You see? It's so... I don't know why it does that. I don't know why it's happening either. You wish you had Johnny Depp hair? I, w I think I'd prefer to have, like, Keanu Reeves hair. Oh no, that was a bad idea, wasn't it? Because my hair isn't wa as wavy as Keanu Reeves' hair. And I Keanu Reeves' hair looks fantastic. He looks great. Somebody's dropping bombs. Fantastic. That's what I needed. That's what I wanted in my life. I wanted bombs. <laughs> you always say that. It's like the most common thing, common meme you have right now. 
Um, by the way, if any of you are looking for an emote artist, Oxford, wink, wink, or anyone else, you should consider hiring Kita Kennedy. She's good. You can check my Twitter for more information. Or her Twitter. It's like the same name. How the fuck do I get up there? What's happening? Like this? No, that bonks my head. You have Jude Law here. <laughs> I've never seen your hair in a, in a different pattern, um, Carnage. So I don't I don't really know what it looks like. I'm so confused. What? I have to just jump it? Oh my god! That's it. I have to jump it. Okay, cool. There you go. It's common. The lower hair isn't weighted down, so it puffs. That's why hairstylists do texturing or pulling the weight out by trimming hair out of the vol... vol <laughs> I can't say that word. Voluminous. Volu voluminous. Voluminous part. I don't know why I can't say that word. <laughs> Fucking get wrecked, Jose. Just get wrecked. Oh my god. Iframes did not have... Did not help me at all there. <clears throat> Your hair is very long. Your long hair comes out very thin and straight. Oh, I see. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. It sucks. Oh, please. Please, Kita. Please spam all of your emotes, uh, including the ones you made for me, if you please. Proceed. <gasps> what am I supposed to do with that, man? Good lord. Oh, there you go. I get, I get a little dude. A little furry dude. How do I get over there? I want to bounce. We'll hop. I bet you're gonna get scold. Oh! It's our girl! No, that's gotta be a trick. Yep. Boss? The little I think my favorite one is the little crab emotes. It, it's it's the least useful. Probably oh no. Oh my. Oh good, that's gonna chase me. I love that. You love to see it. It's probably like the least useful like in outside of this stream because we don't know what the fuck it is. But I personally love the how it came out. It just came out so good. It came out so good. I think it's because we really had to talk think that one through, Kita as well, right? We had to like plan the design. Like it took a long time. Uh Kita and I went back and forth on it quite a few times trying to figure out how to make it work. <sighs> it's going to chase me. I'm not looking for that shit. Run away. Is running even the idea? <gasps> oh my god. What now? What do I do? Oh no! This game... <laughs> what the heck, man? Run, run, run. Run, 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 run. Oh god, it's gonna hit me again. Is that gonna... Is that death? I can't see. We're gonna we're gonna drop. Fucking This game is just mean dude. Freaking mean. <gasps> no! Oh no. Okay, it doesn't matter if I kill them actually, because they're gonna keep spawning. Fantastic. What would I do? I have to just jump. Oh no. What's the point of this? I'm sorry, what? Is there more blocks? I don't understand what has happened. What has happened? <gasps> don't need to. I don't know why that hit me. Actually, it's very confusing. Oh, good. We went all the way back. You gotta be kidding me! What's going on? Why is this level so mean, dude? What in the world? Is there like something I'm missing? Maybe it's a checkpoint that we're missing. I don't know. We're gonna have to use this, right? Because we have to, like, stay alive. This will at least give us the possibility of new lives. No, there's something here. I don't know. I don't understand. Yes, Kita is the one who made uh, milkers. She is the milker producer. <laughs> that sounds so awkward. The milker producer. Thank I hope you enjo enjoyed me saying that, Kita. She did indeed produce the lurk, the, the milkers. Oh my god, run. Yeah, Retro, I bet. 
<laughs> I, as soon as I said it, I was like, oh, that's a, that's problematic. But we, <laughs> we're going to stick to that. <laughs> I mean, how, how could we not stick to that, right? Where is the save point? Why would this game do this? Why is there no checkpoint, dude? Oh my god. I forgot about that. Okay, we're going to run. Is this is this a, a debate? Okay. Run away. There's something there. There's no way to. S Fuck! Did it again. Oh, I'm supposed to stand on them. Oh my god! What in the world? It moves. It moves. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> it's the weirdest thing in the world. Oh my god. Okay, put it here, I think, and then I gotta climb on these boys. Are you gonna get on there, bud? You gonna grab it? Yep. I I have thoughts about everything that just happened, but I'm gonna leave it be. <laughs> why did it kill him? I don't know why I killed him. That's how you do it. Can I please have a checkpoint? Please? Por favor? I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't, right? Kid, it makes perfect sense. Seems like a good business move. Oh, a boss fight? Just immediately? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm so, so miffed. I'm so annoyed. Um, can I get up there? I can. What's the point of this? I have a triangle. What is it? Oh, okay, okay. Laser. Hey, okay, okay, okay. I don't, I'm really confused. Is this the fight? What in the world? <laughs> I promise you, I, I don't remember this fight. That wasn't cheating. Like, I wasn't like, like oh yeah, they're not, never gonna know. Like, I don't remember anything at this point in the game. Ah. Hi. You gonna talk to me? Probably long lost dad? Nope. See ya, Dad. Guess he's gonna go get some fucking smokes again, huh? Carnage? Dad's, am I right? <laughs> We're definitely making that assumption, by the way, that that's our dad. <gasps> oh my. Bone... I do not want to go to the bone zone. I did not sign up to go to the bone zone, lads. Oh my. And they wake up so immediately. Okay, time to get the heck out. Run. This game is too spooky for me now. I don't like to be spooked. I'm gonna fall in there, aren't I? No. <gasps> am I supposed to bounce on that guy's noggin? I think I am. No, it didn't matter. Okay, well, fair enough. Game, can I have a checkpoint this time? Like, last time was kind of... Oh, no. He lit the bomb with the smokes. He's like... Shh. Yeah. Yeah, I just picked that up. He was like... Pfft. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Too spoopy for me, indeed. Of course I can't pull these. Well, I don't know why I thought that. Does anyone have a bomb? Guys? Anyone have a bomb? You dick. You f stupid little fish. Yeah, I got you. I knew what you were gonna do. Oh no. Another one. Stupid little fish. Got him. <laughs> I was actually gonna say that. I was gonna say the. <laughs> I was gonna recite your meme, Oxford. I was gonna recite your meme. Um, but I'm not gonna say it out loud because these fuckers are gonna quote me on that shit. They're gonna clip it. What? Join. <laughs> Yeah, for context, join the Discord. What? Look at this! Oxford over here with the 
the marketing. She knows what she's doing, Squiz. You better watch out. She's gunning for that top mod spot, Squiz. I don't think it's looking good for you, man. How the fuck do I get up there? Is it really like on the edge? Like the f yes, yes it is. Well, I can't do anything anyway, so it doesn't matter. That meme where your head. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought when they said bomb, right? When they said bomb, like how could you not think of that meme? Yeah, uh, Oxford has not only because of. Man, I just realized this. Oxford is go doing a full, a full assault on Squiz's hierarchy in this channel. First of all, Oxford started gunning for a mod, a mod role, it, with, with whether she intended it or not. And then she, she's a mod now, and she's doing great today. And yet, yesterday, or actually, I guess today, yesterday and today, she's been dropping some spicy memes in the Discord, and that's that's Squiz's thing. Squiz loves dropping memes in there. This is just brutal. Squ Squizzy, watch out for her, man. She's 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 not playing around. <clears throat> oh god, fucking! <laughs> this game scares the shit out of me, man. Stupid fish! Oh, they're everywhere. We're being bullied by little tiny fish. <gasps> you little jerk! You little jerk! <laughs> I agree. I agree. I agree, Oxford. You're right. We should stop considering it a contest and merely... Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, you jerk. A combination of skill sets. Because I agree, you both have a lot to offer for diff in different ways. You can just come mod free where you have to do it. <laughs> you have way too many mods already, Kita. Like, half the time, your chat is basically all mods. Oh, I'm supposed to make a stairway. A, stairca a staircase? <coughs> Don't drop it, you idiot. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, man. I fucked it. Oh, god damn it. This is like a, in a... Oh! Oh, it's fine. I don't care anymore. Oh my god! You have five? Gotta get viewers somehow? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how it works. God damn it. I fell again. That, that chest right there looks like such a debate, by the way. You didn't do anything. <gasps> hey, can you break this? <gasps> what? Hey, man, that's pretty cool. I don't remember this little guy. Hell yeah. We have the tech now. How are you, Ryzen? Good to see you. Hola, Ryzen. Como estas? To be frank, Taka and Jay are adamant on not doing any mod. It is funny, actually. I was actually quite confused about that because you modded Jay specifically. And he was like, Jay was adamant that he was like, dude, if anyone ever modded me, I'd be like, no, fuck no. <laughs> he, he was so adamant. He, hate, he hates modding. And then you modded him. I thought that was super funny. Like, I completely understand why you modded him, by the way, because he literally demonstrated, like, tra traits of a good mod. He, he actually is a... In the sense, I think he's just a level-headed person, right? And that's what caused caused you to make that choice, right? Ever since he diffused that dumbass situation in your in your Discord, right? So I completely understand why you modded him. Uh, but I also do find it super funny that he, he doesn't want anything to do with that stu the mod role. Sweet. He, he's good at... T right, that's what he's good at. He's good at telling people off. And maybe that's what you needed. Right? Maybe you needed that. Yeah, the man just like roasted. <laughs> Those two that were causing trouble. 
Am I going down? Oh, does this kill the skellies? Because I would love to kill that skeleton. I hate that skeleton. <gasps> it does! Oh my god. Holy shit. Check out his shirt. Everyone, everyone's in here like, mod me, mod me. I was surprised no one started that as soon as you said that, Kita. Oh my god. Why did I do that? I think I'm supposed to just jump that, aren't I? Yep. What the fuck is here? Joke's on you, Skelly. By the way, I, I know you guys wouldn't do that. Well, I mean, I know who would do that, which is <laughs> Glums. Glums would do that. I, I don't know why, but I find the mod me thing like so incredibly cringe. It, it, it annoys the hell out of me when people do that in chat. Like in chats that I mod for especially, it's like, dude, come on. Don't be fucking it's so weird. Yeah, Kita does that. Kita does it as a meme though. And I realize Glums also does it as a meme. Oh, Shen, I would never dream. I would never dream of doing it. Don't worry. We did it, right? That was it? There were three. Nothing happened. Fantastic. Alright, I'm pretty sure that was it. Bye. Oh, they're actually leaving. Your friend your friend online and you gotta go there, your Oh you're gonna you're gonna uh, chat with your crush, yeah. It did I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. Even though I want to ask, because I'm a I'm a nosy person, I'm not gonna ask. I, I think Oxford knows exactly who your crush is, but I don't don't tell me, Oxford. Even though I want to know, don't tell me. Wait, did I do it? Yeah, I did it. So I'm going down. The re uh, to be honest, the reason that I want to know is just because I find it funny to know. <laughs> Not because I intend to be rude about it or anything. Uh, Kita would never. I know you would hate it. Oh. Okay. We fill this up with water. Oh my god. Am I gonna die? I don't even I'm not even sure if I can breathe underwater, by the way. Guess it doesn't matter. Fair enough. You won't tell me your crush. Who la crush Who la crush is it cause it's stupid? Why <laughs> why? Why would it be stupid? Hey we did it, we beat the stupid level. Are we close to the end game? This looks very end game, does it not? I feel like we're at Bowser's Castle right now. No way we're gonna beat this game. There's no way. <clears throat> Old music, though. Top tier, as always. Are we just gonna go straight to a boss? It certainly seems like it, right? <laughs> Thank you, Ryzen. Oh, good. Good. Love it. I love spears. What in the world? This... This distance is really confusing. <gasps> oh my god. What? What? Am I supposed to jump on the spears? Good god. How dare you, game. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even see them. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay. And then what? What do I- <laughs> Do I have to really jump on them? <laughs> oh, man. This game, dude. Why is this game like this? It's so damn mean. It's supposed to be a kid's game. <gasps> Are you kidding me? I don't even understand what happened there. What in the world has happened? I'm guessing that when I have iframes, I can't interact with the spears? Which makes no sense for like a lot of reasons, but okay. 
Squiz would never. He would never dream of saying no. Especially not to Oxford. Imagine saying no to Oxford, guys. Who would do that? Like, why, though? What's the point? Oh, no. <gasps> why is it inconsistent? Oh, no. This is a disaster. I could probably jump. No, that would be terrible. There's no way. There's no way. The <laughs> bowing. Oh, my God. Is that going to be a new copy pasta? Squiz, please. I need I need a new copy pasta. Oh my god, I the timing is so weird. Okay. Oh my god. It's terrifying in every way possible. Hmm? Wrecked. Fucking wrecked. Dude, this is such a long sequence! Holy shit! This is so stressful. Kida, you should play this game. This game is very calm. Very relaxing. I'm so relaxed right now. I'm relaxed as fuck. <laughs> it's so stressful! Holy shit! I'm also really confused why I'm not being hit by these spears, by the way. Too early, too early, Jose! God, you fucked it, you fucked it, you idiot! You idiot! We fell to the end. To the whole... Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, yes! Gita, come on. You enjoy a challenge? You enjoy a game that pisses you off, right? Everyone does that. Oh my... God. <laughs> what? Why? Why did that hit me? They haven't hit me once the whole time. Okay, I'm really confused by these spears. Spear Chan, oh my god. Wrecked. Fucking wrecked. <laughs> so uh, earlier I thought the spears didn't have a hitbox because they weren't hitting me. And I was like directly in the in, in the spear part. <gasps> Why did you run, you fucking idiot? Good lord. I don't understand this game. <laughs> I do not understand this game. Too early. Dead. Mm. It's gonna be a password situation. 100%. Your bubs? It's bouncing on its tail, Squiz. You creep. How dare you ever expect something lewd to involve animals? It's ridiculous. It's never happened once in the history of the internet. Oh, you go. You hear the sound. Okay. Okay, it's so literally just jump when you hear the sound, by the way. Apparently. It's still stressful. Jump too early. Can I just- Oh my- Are you kidding me? There's enemies now? There's enemies now! There's enemies now. Why? Why? Pourquoi? Why? I, this is already tough enough. Like, why? Why would you add enemies to this part? Like, oh, I didn't mean to cheat, but okay, I could do that apparently. So I can skip cycles, I guess. But I don't know why I would want that. Terrifying in every way. You fucking son of a bitch. <gasps> no! Wrecked! Fucking wrecked! You have to be ready to jump at that exact moment. At that exact moment. <gasps> Somehow we didn't die there, by the way. We just thought that was pretty funny. Okay. 
Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Doesn't take forever. At least I know what to do. But good lord. This music's so epic, too. I guess I'm supposed to kill that little dude. <gasps> My hands are actually sweaty, by the way. It's like I'm fighting a fucking Dark Souls boss right now. No, I fucked it. We're dead right here. Oh, okay, that's fine. Just die. It's fine. Just fall down. So I have to land on that top one perfectly and be ready to jump. It's insane. Oh my. Dude, this is... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lopin, what the fuck, man? This game is so tough. Well, the jeweler. <laughs> Thank you very much for the raid. I appreciate it. Um, hello everyone who doesn't know me. Uh, my name is Jose Segundo. Um, I am a uh, bitch indie game slash retro streamer. Uh, right now I'm playing a retro game, obviously. This is a game that I played as a little as a kid uh, from the Super Nintendo era. Ah, wrecked. <laughs> Thank you, Diller. Uh, this is a this game's actually really tough. Um, I don't know if that, as a kid I ever even got to this level. I, I imagine not. Because it looks completely foreign to me. Um, did you get him a shout out? Lawn mowing simulator. <laughs> intriguing. Intriguing. Uh, for a lot of reasons. First of all, I'm intrigued by the concept of that game. But I'm also intrigued by what brought you here today. Oh no, I messed up. I messed up. Okay, I can do little hops, I guess. But I kind of need to do a bigger hop to get over here. So yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Yay. Um, what made your raid be today, if you don't mind? I'm always curious to learn these things. <laughs> Dang it. Uh. Oh, from fish. I see, I see. I appreciate the raid. I'm sorry, what? Why didn't it spawn? That was weird. Huh. Interesting. I don't know. I think I understand the mechanics of that. Oof. It's already a fail, boys. It's already a fail. Well, nice to see you. I appreciate the, the, the raid, especially since you're from a community that I've uh, recently started spending more time in. It makes me feel good that uh, people are uh, willing to come by and say hello. <gasps> oh! Oh, I don't even need to do that! Okay, that's fair. It makes things a lot less painful. Have you ever played this game before? Are you a retro enjoyer? You seem to like uh, interesting games since you, you're playing a lawn mowing simulator. <gasps> oh no. So so if that happens, if you fall, you have a moment to recover actually, but it's not <laughs> possibly not worth it. Um, because it's a very tight window to actually achieve anything there. God, this part is tough. It's very Sunday. That's like, oh my gosh. I can see that. I can see that. This is our last life, so... It's okay, and don't worry, this game apparently has, like, unlimited continues, which I... I it's more than fair, right? It should've... Absolutely should have unlimited continues, because it's, uh... Quite mean to you. Quite mean, indeed. Okay. So basically, you're supposed to time it whenever you hear the little whoosh sound. The little swish. And actually, this part is easy. The part that's hard is actually when you get to the top, um, you have to actually just like perfectly do this little hop. Oh no. Oh wow, the luck is real. Imagine. You have to do like a perfectly timed like pogo jump. Um, and pogo jumping in this game is extremely finicky and slow. So you have to get it just right. Oh my god. How did that not hit me? I don't even understand that. <gasps> That's not the final one. One more. Nope. There's a lot more left. 
Jose, por favor, why? Why did you do that, you idiot? Oh my. Oh! <laughs> oh, you had it, you fool. You had it. There must be a way to do this faster. This is crazy slow. <gasps> Wrecked. <clears throat> Fish, fish. Oh, she makes all of your emotes as well. Something different for Sunday. That's understandable. What do you normally play? Uh, if if you already head out, you if you already head out. I apologize, but uh, if you're still here, uh, what other games do you normally play? So I can get an understanding of uh, what your community is like. People jokingly call me a just chatting streamer because they say I don't play. I talk a lot more than I play games, so I mean that's fair. <laughs> I don't know how jokingly it is, right? Squid's gonna be like, it's not a joke, man. <gasps> oh my. I'm gonna pause right here. A lot of indie games. Sounds good. We're similar people. I do the same. When I'm not playing these kind of games, I'm playing indie games. Uh, so the recently what we were playing was like, uh, we were playing Cuphead, we played Celeste, we were playing Shovel Knight. Um, I'm a, definitely a Hollow Knight enjoyer. Played a lot of it. Um. Oh, that guy always freaks me out, dude. That stupid little enemy. I need to figure out how to deal with that enemy, dude. He stresses me out way too much. Way too early. Got lucky right there. So despite appearances, this game actually is nice to you at certain times. Uh, and I say that because I've played a lot of games recently that are quite challenging, right? And some games, like, you can tell the design element is to be hard, like, to be challenging. And, and that's just always just, like, shitty. This game actually understands how to do a challenge well, I think. Because there is indeed a lot of challenge in the game. But it also ha has moments like this, right? Where, like, it's kind of programmed in a way to be nicer to you. give you a chance let's say right recover uh because uh and this game is, is pretty challenging to be honest for a ch children's game if it is indeed meant to be a children's game in the 90s i i, I suppose that was a time in which uh, the line between children game children's games and uh games for like young adults or sort of so on and so on right? it was getting a little more blurry so it's possible the intention of this game was to be more of a um, oh my goodness gracious great balls of fire that little enemy is such a pain in the ass oh you're playing salt and sanctuary before nice salt and sanctuary is fantastic it's a great game i played that game a ton <gasps> oh my gosh the walking animation the running sorry the running animation that kicks in without your control is just a pain in the butt, man. Pain in the ass. You're back. Hello. Like, imagine this, right? Imagine playing this as a kid, Lopin. It's brutal. A lot of the old games were kind of like this, right? Like, but yeah, this game in particular. I can't imagine playing this as a kid and succeeding, like in any way. Wait, what? Why did it spawn? That was weird. Oh, interesting. So you kind of have to space it out. Dude, what was I supposed to do there? We're going to die quite a few more times, right? We have to sort out the mechanics of this of this area. Once we get through this, um, I thought I had it down pretty pretty consistent, but I don't think so. I think that's incorrect. Uh-huh. The sound is the key, but it's I guess I'm not understanding the pattern well enough. Like I thought it was Quite simply, the sound meant a new one was coming, but I'm oversimplifying it. The sound actually just means that a new one has spawned. Oh my gosh. Wrecked. <laughs> oh my gosh. You had a look at some of the long play for tactics? Yeah, you just have to do it. Yeah, that's what it seems like, right? It, it's just, you gotta sort this out. 
A lot of these old games use difficulty as a way to get more hours out of it. Yeah, but I don't think this one. I don't think this one's that bad, to be honest. Like I, I've I have seen games where that's the case, right? I played games recently that did not handle um, difficulty correctly. I think this game actually does that does handle difficulty in a reasonable manner. When you used to play super hard games as a kid, uh, you would cry out of frustration. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty adorable, Kita. <laughs> Fucking wrecked. <laughs> That was funny. The immediate death. But it is kind of nice. So the way this is designed, right? It's designed to give you an opportunity to retry very quickly. I actually really like that. Um, that's reasonable. You still come close to it sometimes. You were, you've uh, you've you've been here when Pidge is around, right? Kita, rare Pidge. Remember when you raided her that one time and she was playing that packing game? She said that to me one time and it cracked me up. Like, uh, she was telling me that she was in a game, she was playing a game that was really hard and she started crying, like on stream. Or no, or no, she she said, uh, I asked her how it was going and she was like, well, I didn't cry on stream. Uh, and I was like, wait, wait, why would you cry on stream? And she was like, she does that sometimes. Like her chat was <laughs> And I was like, oh my God, really? And she's like, no, it's, it's normal. <laughs> like, it's fine. <laughs> I don't know why that cracked me up so much, because, like, to me, the idea of, like, crying on stream is just kind of wild. Like, I cannot imagine that. Fucked it again! Damn it. Good recovery, though. Excellent recovery. How in the world? <laughs> Island, thank you so much for the sub to, to Retro. I appreciate that very much. Thank you very much. Thing is they also sold Nintendo Power magazines and Game Pro too. That's true, they did do that. Yeah, to try to kind of like make things a little bit more smooth or less painful for kids. I never had those magazines though. They were, they were kind of expensive, Lopin. I can't imagine dude, getting them, to be honest. We're gonna get hit. We got hit on the way down. I didn't see that coming actually. Excuse me? There you go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's start over. <laughs> Thank you for looking it up. Yes, yeah, so the Retro does that all the time, by the way. Uh, hi, Loon. I imagine you might have gifted him a sub because he went out of his way to try to solve something. Retro does that. Like, he has a... So, I, I don't even question it because I, like, I kind of expect that if I look really, really confused and Retro is around, he's going to, like, try to sort it out. Um, he does that with Kita as well, where, like, something is just completely perplexing us all. And he'll go out of his way to go, like, understand what, what's going on. It's just his nature, right? <laughs> it's just his nature. I, hi, Loon, you do that too, right, for Penny. Oh my god, we f No, we fucking did it! <laughs> Jesus Christ, we did it! Okay, hold on now. Uh, something's gonna troll us. 100%. We did it. <laughs> oh. Get us floating power? Okay, okay. Oh no. <gasps> oh my god. It's a path of pain. I can't escape the path of pain. We're back at the path of pain, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between. We are back in the path of pain. It it doesn't... It, it cannot escape it. As a Hollow Knight enjoyer, it is the way, Lopin. You, you see this, Lopin? You see this shit? This is just my curse. Every goddamn game I play somehow ends up having a path of pain. <sighs> All right, we're going. We're going. We're going in, boys. We we mean business. He yeah he does that. Retro will do that. He's a nice person. He carried you through Earthworm Jim. Yeah, that's true. Earthworm Jim is just confusing too, though. You. S you sat here while you're taking an all oh, adorable Shin. I I'm glad that my voice helps you sleep. All right. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, by the way, he has a he has a time limit on his little like ability, so I have to keep re I have to speed run this shit too. Oh my God! Run, you idiot! Run. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's actually good. You can kind of cheese this. Jose. No, no, no. Oh, you fucked it. You idiot. We're done for. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. Right? Yeah, I have no recourse. I have nothing I can do. Yep. We dead. 
Dude, okay, so it's only nice to you in that one section. <laughs> it's like a one-time nice call. One time. You have to time it. How in the world would you, would you time that, though? Like, how? Game, explain. <gasps> what would you do that? How would you time that? I mean, right, it might as well. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> you can miss it! You can miss the thing! Go, go, go. Go, you little bastard. Go. We're fucked again. Fuck, just fucking die. Just, 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 I guess I'll die. Just, just take me, Lord. <laughs> oh, I fucked it. It's okay. We're going for it. We're going in. We're going all in. It's nice to you for like one try, and then it's like super mean to you. How would you do this without dying? man oh my god yeah imagine right like what the hell would you even do what do i do how do i time this right okay 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 dude what the fuck? Go, go, go. What? <gasps> what in the world what am i supposed to do there <laughs> how <laughs> what what Can I cancel it? Like, can I do this? I can cancel it! Oh, that is a dirty move, dude! You haven't taught me that the whole game! You haven't taught me that the whole game! I'm just supposed to know? Yeah, you can deactivate it! Oh my gosh. Fucking go. Okay, I can do this! It's an actual game changer, Kita. Good god. It's so much easier now. <laughs> okay, so all we have to do is make it to ground. We have to make it to ground. Make it to ground, you idiot. There you go. He almost ran into the spikes. Okay, bud. You got this, man. You got this. Oof. <sighs> Um, does anyone have any ideas on that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, should we just stay, should we just stay in the jail? I think we should just stay in the jail. I don't know, Kita, I'm wondering. That... I think I know what it wants. I'm gonna test something. I think I know what it wants. It's insane. It wants me to cancel. It wants me to cancel in air. We're gonna test it right now. He wants you to do that. You see that? He wants me to cancel in here. Fucking hell, dude. Brutal. Brutal. Yeah, so you can't let it run out either, because he'll lose it. Dude, that's, that's wild. You have to just cancel it, then it's fine. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Kira, imagine playing this game yourself. You would be so angry right now. I. <laughs> you know how I am. I'm struggling. I, I'm getting. I'm this, I'm this close. <laughs> I'm so getting so mad. I'm supposed to stall here. Oh my gosh! But he can't re. How? I have to stall in the left side. The left side. Okay. Okay. Progress. Progress. Oh, I fucked it. It's okay. We're going for it. I frames. I frames. Okay. I'm so glad this game has infinite continues, Kita. Oh no, we're dead. Ah, jeez. Right, let's do it. 
Fuck it. I don't care. I don't care. I don't need that one for the here. Now, now I care. Now I care. Do do do. <laughs> Drop it. Okay, so here is when you do it. That's when you want to do it. Oh. Let go of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go up. This way. Down. Mm -hmm. Let go. Okay. At the stall in the air up here. This is, this is legit, legitimately advanced tech, by the way. The fact that you have to do that. Okay. You know, the worst part is if we actually make it with no health, with no life. I mean. Do 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 do. Oh my god, my feet are so cold right now. Okay. I fucked it. It's okay. Did it. <clears throat> I'm getting so good at this part. It's funny. <clears throat> okay. What does this do, Artie? I don't understand what this does. What does that move? I haven't used it once. I wonder if it makes me invincible and I'm just I haven't used that the whole the whole game. It probably does, to be honest. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> no, but you run out! What the fuck? That doesn't help. That's not it actually, because you run out. Wow, I don't know. I don't understand. Maybe I'm supposed to jump and use it? It's probably like a fucking pixel, like it's perfect. Take a long, hard look at myself. Myself? What do you mean? What did I say? What did I say? In what way did I embarrass myself? I'd believe it if I did it. I just don't know what I said. E sure, Retro. Um, honestly, I'm not entirely sure uh, what's the intent in that section. Like, the other parts are like, that's this is fine, right? But this section, yeah, I'm not sure. That's what he's saying. Take a long, hard look in the mirror, dude. Why are you still here? What are you doing with your life? Why do you do this to yourself? Yeah, I need to actually be on stable ground for him to reset. He doesn't reset his power if I'm not on stable ground. It's crazy, dude. Okay, Retro. I'll wait for you right here because I, I got nothing else at this point. I'm legit lost. I would think to do this, right? To give me a little bit more. But you see how, like, if I do that, he's still losing. Oh, yeah, he's still losing air. So no matter how many times I do that, I actually have to. <gasps> oh no, now we're dead? What in the world? Yeah, so if you still let it die, it's not anything that's helpful, but he is jumping and throwing it to jump onto it and using a lot of diagonals. Oh, I didn't think about doing diagonals. That's a good call, actually. I didn't think about that. Yeah, so if I move diagonally, I didn't think about that. Let's see. You can go to per you can go perfectly diagonal. Good to know. Very good to know. I wasn't aware of that. Okay. That's pretty interesting, actually. Also, I like how you said perfect diagonals, because I believe you. I believe you. It's like meant to be perfect. Here you don't need to be precise at all. This is fine. But when you get here, yeah. Yeah. I get it. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah. I got I got it. I gotcha. Retro. Yeah. Jump. Hit it there. Perfect diagonal. This way, this way, up. It's wild. It's so tough. Guys, imagine being a kid and playing this game. Just imagine it. Like just. <laughs> Good God, I, 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 for 100%, 100%, I've never been to this level. There's no way. I would have, like, seen this level as a child and just, like, shit my pants. Just been like, I'm done. Like, I, <laughs> this game isn't, this game is beyond my, my abilities. Okay, okay. Oh my God, how in the world? I have to just see what's up here. 
Yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh, there's a game genie code for this? Uh, I'd believe it, yeah. Like, you kind of needed it, man. Like, imagine not having those codes. That's just crazy. Like, the early part of, the, of this level is, like, very lenient, by the way. And then later, she's like, nah, man, dude, just... You better be perfect. Like, how dare you insult me with your lack of perfection. Yeah, so this is where we need to... This is where the men... Oh, my God. <laughs> I got too close. <clears throat> yeah, you have to actually be right on the, the spikes. Like, right next to them. So that, that, that perfect diagonal path will get you where you need to go. It's impossible, otherwise. Uh, because if you don't line it up just right, um, you'll crash. Cele <laughs> I wouldn't say this game is a Celeste like. Uh, I would, because I think that Celeste is a little better designed on its. Um, is a lot, a lot better designed on its difficulties. This game is fair enough, right, on its difficulty, but it's not Celeste. I would not say that. Okay, I need to be like right here. You kidding me? How in the world? So, just so you know, guys, like, check this out. Like, if I just kind of sc scoot ever so slightly, like, there's, like, a massive difference in one in one move. Is your kryptonite? Yeah, this is insane. Understandable, Kita. This is actually insane. I've played a lot of platformers, Kita. You've seen me play a lot of tough platformers. This level is no joke. This level is really tough. To be honest, I think some of the most challenging platforming I've had is, has been in this game. Like, I mean, Celeste has... Oh my god. Celeste has a lot of really crazy challenge, right? How? How do you not get hit there? Is that up? Maybe that's a path where I go up and then change to be diagonal. I think it is, actually. I don't know what, how, how else I would do that. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I, I know what you mean by that. Sorry, is what I meant by that. That I, I think that um, because you managed to avoid this generation, you kind of you don't have to deal with it as much. To be fair, PS One platforming is atrocious. It's like really, really rough. So if you got really good at that stuff, you know, because it was a different era, right? They they were trying to sort out how in the world they were gonna do this concept. Holy shit. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't think I can stomach any more of that shenanigans again. I feel like I need to just save state this. <laughs> right here. It feels such a like such a waste, right? We haven't save stated the entire time. But I want to. I mean, I know I can do it again. Now I know what to do. But it hurts. It hurts that I'm at that point. I'm going to see what's up. Oh, good God. That's going to be a pain in the ass. I bet you that's going to be horrible. So I know the pattern with these. The pattern is you wait for them to start and then you go up. But I bet you that's not enough time. Yep, fucking dead. Wait, what in the world hit me? What in the world hit me? I don't understand. We can do it again, but I, I don't understand what happened. This is another one where I have to do it mid-air. Dude, look at that, dude. It's insane. That's so precise. Look, if I jump up, I'll get hit. I'll show you. Yeah. So I can't jump directly up. Dude. Nope. Not even on the edge. It's impossible. Yep. Oh my god, dude. That's crazy precise. <laughs> How do I do that? Even if I... So I, I have to do a full jump, by the way, if you're wondering. Yeah. Dude, that's tough. At least it gives you a chance to come back, though. 
It's right when they're jumping. God damn it, fucking dead. Oh no, I was trying to get to the, the other side. I wanted to see what was there. Oh my god, dude. This is super tough. Yeah, man, it's so difficult. We can do it again. No question, we can do it again. So at this point, it's actually not necessary. Like I said, this game is actually quite reasonable on lives, so it's not really like a huge concern, to be honest. Like I can do the level again if I have to. Although I, if this were the spike, the spear level, I would have one hundred percent. I would have save stated that. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way I would have wanted to do that again. God damn it! Also. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be all right. I can't move. Shit. So, the last moment. See, that's what I'm saying. It's so hard to get that. I think it's literally at the highest point possible. It's crazy, dude. Maybe we got lucky that time. I don't know. To be honest, if I make it up there with like first try on a say on a on a password, sorry on a on a initial entry into level, then I will uh, I will 100% save save that because that that would just be the perfect scenario possible. The main reason I didn't save save that earlier is because we we ended up at like uh, an unfortunate amount of lives. Highest point jump diagonal up this way up fucking hell what in the world did i do wrong that time i went too far to the left i went too far to the right dude brutal it's okay i don't care this one's fine i have enough iframes to deal with it i can speed run that You see me trying to- did you see- you guys see me try-harding that right, right there? I tried to jump it precisely, I don't know why. I just kind of- I just forgot that there was- the game's actually nice right there. It makes you feel any better, you got stuck in the ho hole in Sonic earlier and took an eternity to get it. It was embarrassing. <laughs> that is pretty funny, actually. There you go. Them's the brakes. Doesn't matter anyway, because we only have one life. <gasps> oh, fucking wrecked. Fucking wrecked. It'd be crazy if we do this. I I'm like, s I'll be honest with you, I'm like super hyped to try to do this. right the edge you have to be really careful with that jump dude that might be the end of the level actually it could be actually well no we only got one checkpoint there's no way that's the end uh, it's got to be the middle i would assume that's the middle indeed right help help Can I pogo onto the blob monster? The blob monster? Is there an, is there an enemy coming up, Retro? I haven't seen a blob monster. Or, or maybe my uh, the floaty ball thing. The floaty ball thing? Oh, it's like a spiky thing. That's why I didn't think it was a blob when he said that. Um. Oh, you mean further up? I mean, I think. <laughs> you better believe that's happening now. You better believe we're safe stating right now. That's the perfect run. I just said this. The perfect run. Oh, I'm a little blobby. Good question. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. I never tried that. It's a good question, Retro. Very good question indeed. 
you know, the funny part is I bet you were going to discover that this was pointless, like the save state, because you're going to be like, oh, dude, you're, you already had it, actually, which is, which is fair. I did it too early. It's okay. Way too early. I think if I let go of him, I can't? Retro? I'm not sure. It's a good question. God. That was too quick. Let's see what's going up. Too early. I'm a pro. <laughs> oh, mm -mm. God, that angle is so precise, dude. You guys have you have to we have to land right in the middle, so you know. Yep, right in the middle. How in the world? Yep, that's a fail. Oh, how in? The oh, I can jump higher. Actually, Pog. Okay. That doesn't kill him. I need to jump as high as possible. Oh my gosh. I got greedy. To jump as high as possible. Yep, it doesn't get him. It's crazy, dude. Crazy. No. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Let's do a little guy. Let's see what we got over here. Too, too low? Oh, no, just right. Mm, fail. It's okay. You can always recover. It's here. Highest jump possible. Perfect. Go this way. Down. Deactivate. Jump in middle. Ugh. Jeez. Surprisingly lenient here. Okay. Oh, gosh. Wrecked. Okay. I'm gonna rise right down here. Jump up there. Wait. Go. Down. Deactivate. Jump directly in the middle. High. Down. Oh, you have to go up! Insane! Insane. <laughs> How would you even guess this? You'd have to like you'd have to know well, let's see. It could be a consistent pattern actually. Okay, this is fine, this is fine. Jose, por favor. direction yeah the way right we can try that i'm trying to actually uh, use the same tech as the other area it doesn't work i actually have to be this one's a little bit different yeah yeah it's diagonal oh fucking hell dude wrecked fucking wrecked there's nothing i can do anymore we dead yeah yeah okay You know, you might you might be saying like, why didn't you save state over there? Honestly, because I, I want to get good. That's my honest answer. I want to get good here, and I'm because I'm understanding the mechanic now. If I can get this down, I can understand the rest of this. But a morbid interest in getting good here. We have to land over here just in case. Just in case. So let's jump. Grab this diagonal. Up. Oh my god, fucking wrecked. Jump, already jump, you fucking. Oh. Violated. <laughs> oh, I hit, the wrong... <laughs> I hit the wrong button. What an idiot. You idiot! Greedy. You greedy guts. Oh, I was testing it. I had to test it. 
I tested it earlier, but I was like, no, I'm doubting myself. I feel like I can probably do something there. He, en he enters no, he cannot. People spam. That should save state. Yeah, yeah, no, I know what you're saying. So the, the technique that I usually use kind of as a, as a compromise, um, Kita, is that I will actually um, use save states only and checkpoints areas when the game does not give you the ability to, to continue from the checkpoint. That's why, that's exactly why I do it. Um, because it's it's not as much of an advantage as you would expect, right? Because it, it, if you were save stating literally like scum saving like every second, then yes, obviously that would be like super crummy. Um, but I think this is a fair um, um, way to do it. Uh, so to be honest, like, I'll, I will explain that, right? Because we were talking about that. I am not a challenge runner and I do not care about things like that at all. Um, so I don't care about the bragging rights in any way of like saying, oh, I beat this game. You know, I don't care about that at all. Um, the main thing that I focus on is like enjoyment, like what I whether I'm having fun with the game. That's a fuck. Yeah, it's a mess. Uh, and the thing that I uh, try to do is to make the stream efficient for you guys, right? Because it, it can be quite tough to have someone just stuck in the same area over and over and over. And it's just not a great stream experience uh, for a lot of reasons. Uh, one one of the reasons being that when that happens, the streamer can start getting a little bit like, you know, uh, frustrated, right? And when the streamer gets frustrated, it's just not a, it's just a bad time for everybody, right? Um, and you guys know me, I'm pretty calm, right? So if, if something actually stresses me out, like, it, that's a big deal, right? That's like, I'm pretty angry. Um, oof. Wrecked. Um, so I, I try... Save states is one way to facilitate a more efficient stream, in my opinion, right? It's just, it's just an easy way to approach that. Uh, if I could do that in modern games, I would. Uh, I might have fucked it right here. Yep. Uh, because it's just, uh... It's just so much more efficient to have someone, like, you know... Retry some the thing that they're actually struggling with. Ugh. I'll say it, Uh, Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Did you make it through there, Lopin? It's insane. Uh, that area, good god. What were they thinking? It's just not a fun experience because, uh, like, in a game like Celeste, that it actually works, right? Because y you have a long section, but it doesn't matter because it's it's all organized by room, right? Um, oof. Uh, it's all organized by room, so you can always retry very quickly. Uh, but in in Eterna, they try to do that, but they did a really they did a bad job of it because it it still requires you to go fight these annoying scrub enemies over and over again. And that, that, that enemy, that just really wears on you, to be honest. Like, having to go fight a bunch of scrub enemies over and over and over, and it's just like, oh, this is terrible. Right? And especially because you can fall. You can fall downward. Um, like, really far. Uh, and then, like, lose a ton of progress. And it's like, dude, what the fuck? Like, I don't... It just kind of pisses you off. And, and the way to solve that, actually, is to quit, quit, quit out the game. <laughs> and I, I think that that's, like... It's a, it's a bit much, you know. I, I don't I don't think that was uh, very well thought out. You were watching someone play Castlevania NES, and they were safe stating in every room. If you were were getting a little bit pissy, and if that's how they want to play it, then who cares? Yeah, and, right. You can you can do that, right? You can do exactly what you want. It's the power of an emulator. Um, but now, if people are gonna say like, "Hey, I don't like this," I was like, that, "That's understandable." I mean, you can you can. I'm not gonna try to cater to the way other people want me to play a game. That just doesn't make any sense to me. The same reason that I like, I wouldn't really care too much about like doing like no hit runs. If on only uh, the only reason that I would do a no hit run in like Hollow Knight, for example, would be because I'm just having a, you know, um, I genuinely think that it's I've been playing the game enough that it's like gonna be fairly straightforward. Um, the only reason I did a deathless run, <laughs> uh, we're gonna we're gonna make a, a, a joke, and uh, Nas or someone else is gonna be here, and they're gonna be like, "Oh, Sarah, come on, man, that's just not, that's not cool." Um, so the only reason. I did a deathless run in Hollow Knight. It was because I had already done enough gameplay that I, I was pretty confident I could do it, and I, it was going to be an efficient experience, and it was something that it was feasible for me to do. But to be honest, I <laughs> I regret doing it uh, because now every single time that a that a tournament comes along, like I have to do it like uh, again <laughs> because no one else does it. No one else does like challenge runs properly on the widers, uh, or at least they don't advertise it, right? Uh, with Hollow Knight, so I end I end up having to to do it.
Yeah, I'm, I'm basically like that's just my that's just my existence now, Kita. Oh, why do I keep doing that? My jumping is doing terrible. I'm jumping in the wrong spot. What in the world? Oh, I hit that too late. I need to grab this jump up here. Oh, I see what I'm doing. I'm jumping a little bit too far to the left. Oof. Yeah, so it actually pushes you a little bit to the left, if you're wondering, when you when you use your power up. I, I like that they have this here, actually. It's pretty reasonable, to be honest. Oh, we finally made it. And we made it the wrong time, by the way. I fucked it, still. <laughs> that could have been bad. Oof. Yeah, it's really what matters. You might not need to do jumping start on this one, as long as you're... Per it's only time... It, yeah. You would have to time it perfect, which is actually fair. It's pretty easy to do. And this one's an interesting example where you may not need it. Yeah, that's that's actually fair. Let's see. Let's see if it's possible. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. As long as you get over. That's fair. I feel like this one 100% you need it, though. This one actually might be a, a diagonal diagonal again. Retro, please confirm if you see if you see it there, but it is, to me it seems like a diagonal diagonal path here. Straight up, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's wild. Go for it, Darty. Oh baby, look at that recovery. You have to land that perfectly, by the way. Oof. Oh man. Okay, let's. I'm gonna take a safe state here because I want to study this. My apologies to the safe state purists. I want to study this. What is it? Yeah, interesting, interesting. Okay. Let's see. Oh! That actually would have worked if I hadn't moved up accidentally. What a doofus. No, it's not. That is diagonal. That has to be diagonal. Oops, oh my gosh, I just walked into it. The guy the guy is actually able to just stand on his tail and then edge along before doing a pogo. Oh here! Interesting. That's in you're practicing a no-hit spiral the dragon run off stream. Harder than I think. They want to do it on a wider spin. That was that's actually a good idea. Oh yeah, good good call. You can you can do this. Let's let's check where the pixel is. It's actually off screen, look at that. It's basically on the spike. That's insane. Huh? It's like here. Oh wow. It's so precise, Retro. Is it really? I thought that was it. It's right there. No, what in the world, dude? Imagine! Yeah, I bet you can. You probably have to move ever so slightly to the left. To the right, I mean. Yeah, that's interesting. It certainly gets you a lot more air. Interesting. It'll save you a ton of time, I think. If you hit it just right. You ever you guys ever hit it just right? Probably don't discuss that in chat though. Oh my god, that's so it's a fucking pixel dude. How? How in the world? Oh it's okay. I think we, I can see what you could have done there. Now, is that pattern consistent? I'm not touching sure what I wanted to learn. Oops! I forgot to move. We might not make this one today, guys. Oh gosh, it's already, we've already been going three, three hours 15, so I might actually just quit in a moment. Might have to quit, actually. 
Dude, how do you do that so precisely? It's gotta be diagonal. It's gotta be you go up and then immediately go diagonal right there. Oops. You suck, you jackass. Yep. Yep. That's it. Oh, man. This is gonna be horrendous, I imagine. What do you think, Retro? What kind of suffering is it heading our way? If funny if it's like the home stretch. It's just like, yeah, it's easy. No worries. <gasps> How in the world? How did that hit me? I was trying to jump to see if it would be more efficient, and that was my that was my mistake. I should just uh, go for the easy strats. Easy strats. Oh, that's gonna be. I needed to jump. Hundred percent needed to jump right there. <laughs> Yay! There you go. There you go. We did the stupid level. Holy shit! I actually have to unfortunately use the save states more now. So the problem that I, at least in this particular emulator that I use. Um, safe stating is kind of like un unavoidable after a period of time because um, I've done that before where I've saved the game and then I accidentally um, use a save state and, and then like I forget that I have it and then I accidentally use the save state and then I go back a shit ton and I'm like oh my god I can't go back right because in, in this games you kind of can't do that yeah easy mode now easy mode now good god imagine what, what is this going to be guys I can't move by the way oh This is going to be horrendous. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, okay. So a lot of pogoing. It's going to be a lot of pogoing. You have to just be ready for the pogo. Uh-oh. This was a bad move. Music though. Fucking music. Pretty hype. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't cry for me, I'm already dead. As Barney would say. Tori Simpsons enjoyers. Oh my god. <gasps> Wrecked. The timing on that one's weird. I bet you this section is like super long too. Like, why wouldn't it be, right? Of course it's gonna be crazy long. I think that was supposed to be a lot harder than it was, huh? Oh, <laughs> it scared the shit out of me! Oh my god! You seen a dance? Oh, are you?
I don't have words for that. I don't have words for what just happened to me. I don't know, Kita. Retro, since you were looking up, do you, do you have it handy? Do you have that information handy? Okay, it's gonna get pretty rough. Yep. Everything left is a pogo. Dude. Oh, are you shitting me? It was a slight move. Oh, there's more, of course there's more. Why wouldn't there be? I'm gonna keep pogoing, because I don't know what else to do with my life. Oh. There's some on the reflection. Are the ones in the reflection gonna hurt me? Yes, the answer is yes. 93? It is quite impressive, Retro. I would agree with that. Okay, so I need to not... I don't... I can't let the, um... After the first jump, everything's a pogo now. It doesn't have to be, but I'm gonna treat it like one. Yep. I know, Kita. That's what I was saying. <gasps> Hit the wrong button! Please, we... Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> this is insane, dude. Oh, it gave me a life. That's such a bad sign. What? What? Oh my. I did not see. Oh my god. Oh, I fucked it. God damn it. Okay, pogo, you idiot. Keep pogoing. You know how to pogo. Oh, baby. This game is wild, dude. This game this is actually super fun, by the way. This is a really fun platforming section. This is super good. <clears throat> I move. <laughs> it's something I do. It's something that is a default behavior of me since I was a child. Kita, I will always do that. I, I, I'm not even. In, I can't even see it happening, but I know what's happening. Ray tracing? <laughs> yeah, Zoke. Hundred percent. This is ray tracing right here. Fucking hell. What a whiff. What a whiff. You idiot. In the pogo. Assume the pogo position. Just assume you have to pogo literally everything. <gasps> oh. It's okay. Oh, I guess we should need to make we need to make a save state here, huh? Before I forget. Or else the game will screw us over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In racing games, you do that? Music's too good, though. Top tier. Kita, I cannot imagine. Like, this this game is really testing my patience. It's really hard. I would say if you do play this game, do not beat yourself up about not finishing it. Because I'm wondering why I'm doing this to myself right now. It's time for the weird, these, yeah. Do, 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 do. Spooky AF. Okay, we get an extra life. And now it's time to go upside down. <gasps> it's okay. 
You idiot! Stay pogo! Stay pogo! Oh my god! Oh my god! Just fucking mean, dude. Fucking mean. I'm gonna... I'm gonna check something real quick. Yeah, I always have a weird thing about pressing the wrong button. <clears throat> there you go. The climbing game? Jump King? No way, dude. No way, am I, I'm not gonna play Jump King. I know why you're suggesting it, but I, I do not... <laughs> I have no desire to play Jump King. I was amazed that Ronnie was able to play Jump King as often as much as she was. The patience is just epic in that game. And maybe I, I don't know, maybe I would enjoy it, I don't know. Uh, poor Oxford was like literally bullied by the game. Like, she hated it. <laughs> she hated it. It's completely understandable. But yeah, she just, it was horrible. Oh, you mean getting over it? No way, dude. I would never play getting over it. I don't like games like that. That game is like, just like intentionally mean to you. Like being mean to you is the game. And I realize you can shut off his dialogue, that's fine, right? But it's still something that I don't enjoy. How dare you? I'm sorry, what? Wow. That's a jump? A jump to a pogo. That's wild. Okay, okay. You know, we're, we're, I've been doing this long enough that I'm starting to memorize it. And that on its own is kind of weird to me. It's kind of creepy to me. But I've started memorizing it already. Yeah, I knew that was off. Oof, we have to do it with one health. Sorry, it's rough too. Surprisingly more straightforward though. Really? Oh, lucky there. I forgot to move. Yeah, some of these require uh, jumping and movement, and I just didn't see it. I feel like I have to like pre periodically blink so that my eyes still work. Because this is a very taxing on my vision. Let's see what I got here. I have to remember the pattern though, that's really tough. Honestly, remembering that pattern. That was actually unnecessary. It's it. Oh my god, we survived it. How in the world does a normal human being do that? <gasps> so you would jump? Those are regular jumps. We have to switch regular jumps. Man. Yeah, we have to switch to regular jumps. I think the regular jumps at the bottom. I think. By the way, I'm gonna have to stop streaming right now. I've been going way too long. Hmm. I may be overthinking how often I need the... I don't need to do pogo jumps on those. Interesting. See, but it's dangerous to do this because this is causing me to have a, an unrealistic expectation. There's only one way to do this. You have to memorize a pattern. Yeah, man. 100%. So, 100%. That's what it's doing. <clears throat> There's so many people here watching me play this game. That's really funny. 
I didn't when today when I picked up Ar Artie Lightfoot, I did not in my wildest dreams think that there would be this many people watching me play this game of all things. I guess it's kept capturing you guys' interest because of how painful it is, huh? Yeah, now I need poke. I, I didn't technically need a pogo there. But I need one there. That four layer one requires a pogo. We love this shit! <laughs> Clearly. It's not unnecessary. I can just keep pogoing to keep things consistent. Here. The problem is the next section. You <laughs> need to rage internally. Clearly. That's what it is, yeah. Yeah, I spend a lot of my time in these games trying to understand them. Um, so I think that's maybe it's something that people <laughs> seem to enjoy watching as well um because I, I i don't really i'm not really good as a raid streamer right for for obvious reasons um but you guys know me so you know when i'm internally like annoyed like for sure right but i also like for the most part um don't really react in the same way that people would expect i suppose Oof. let's see what see what's up here i'm gonna use these as pogos even though it's actually Okay, so when this one comes up, I think at this point we're doing regular jumps. Nope, that was not that was not a regular jump. That one's a no. That one's not possible as a regular jump either. Dude, I don't know. How in the world? I can't even duck that one actually. I don't think it's possible. When I'm really focused, yeah, yeah. They didn't know how people tolerate such games back then. They must have had a lot of free time. I mean, they did. 100% Hyloon, that's what it was, right? Kids just had a, a ton of time. This is the only way. Like, as, as an adult, right? This is just insane. The difficulty is insane. Oh! Wrecked. Imagine. Imagine being absolutely perfect. Because that's what this game expe expects of you. To be absolutely perfect. It's amazing how well you can recover, though. I guess it just comes down to, like, knowing one section quite well. By the way, the, re the reflection mechanic, although incredibly trolly, is super cool. I love this. Oh, man, you barely grazed it, huh? You hate to see it. you can make that i just did it badly i tested it earlier i was able to actually jump that normally oof i'm playing badly now this might be a bust at this point guys um when i when, i can tell when i start playing poorly it's probably because i'm i'm overthinking it it's usually what happens it's the same with me with souls games actually um when i'm playing it, i guess it's the same way for any difficult game um whenever i start losing my focus and playing poorly, then yeah, it's it, it just means it's time to take a break and picking some picking up a game next time. It would be interesting to try to play this game further. I don't really want to give up on it. I bet so retro, a good question. Uh is this the final level? Retro? I I know I, I obviously it isn't right, but are we really close to the final boss? It certainly seems like we are. If retro is still here even. Some of these are like so tight, dude. I cannot imagine. These jumps are insane. <sighs> so I honestly don't understand what's supposed to happen in the next section at all. I don't understand it at all. I'm gonna have to try to do this. Because I don't know what's expected. <gasps> I hit the wrong button. Oh my gosh spooked the shit out of me. Oh no! How did I not get hit? What, is, what in the world? How did I not get hit? That was funny. This is the end. Yeah. It certainly seems that way. It's at that point of difficulty where it's like, this is this is the end. This part I legitimately don't get though. 
How do I deal with this little floating bastard right here? Oh, interesting. I don't understand. Because then it's this. Is it possible I can duck it? I think I might be able to duck it. You try to beat it for stopping, really? I can't do that. I, I At a certain point in time, I know when I've been... Essentially, the game has beaten me, right? Like I've, 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 at, I've had a point where uh, my brain isn't like processing new information effectively. That's when I know it's over. That's when I know I, know I need to take a break. Oh, that's a miss. Oh, lucky. Okay, so this is the one that I don't understand. Oh, I was going to test this. I have to test this. I'm very curious. Yes. It's a duck. Fucking dirty, dude. Fucking dirty. And then it, you can't do anything there. Okay. So ducking is possible in that section. Yeah, it's a lot of lot more ducking than you would think. That one always gets you. You can't duck that. You can't duck that. Oh, we can jump that though. Yeah, you'd have to take a hit there. Interesting, interesting. Let's see, let's see. So I can just duck both of these, but then I have to jump the next one. Oh, I'm sorry. I just hate when you can't do. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's what it is, right? Sometimes your your brain just kind of gives up on it. You're like, oh, I can't do this, and yeah, it's understandable. It sucks, but it's. Ooh. Very dangerous. Nope. <gasps> By the way, the reason this is hard doing the duck maneuver is that you can't see. Like, it, it, sorry, you can't see. You can't, your brain has to remember that it's upside down. And it's very weird because I want to press up. Oh, I'm going to test something now. This is interesting. <clears throat> I wonder if you can cheese the game. What does this do? Let's find out what it does. I think it's, we're still going to get hit, right? Hold on. Oh my god. You can tie you can cheese it. That's so pog. New strats boys. New strats. You can use that technique. Holy shit. Actual game changer. It's just timing at this point. Cause it's when you hear the sound. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My focus is through the roof. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh my. We haven't used that technique once, Kita. The whole game. The whole game. Until now. Who knows how that could have changed the gameplay. So is the next one the final boss? I guess we're going to find out. When you put it from gym, you have to like... Take a five minute break because you're getting so tilted. Yeah. Oh, that bungee jump section. It, it, like, like they were saying, it's actually infamous. <gasps> what in the world? Our little waifu. What a dick. Oh, he's a frogman. A frogman. Oh. <sighs> How was I supposed to see that? Is there is there tech that I don't know about? How do you know? It's just a pattern? Oh my. Do I have to climb on that? I'm gonna stand right here. Yeah, I should stand right here. Oh! <gasps> Possible...
daddy with who left the smokes. How does it work? What do I do? What? What? How do I move it? What happens? What in the world? <laughs> What's happening? What's happening, guys? Do you understand what happened? I don't understand. I'm gonna stand right here. This is the save point. This is the save point. Nope, apparently not. I'm gonna stand... I don't think it's consistent. Nope. Not consistent at all. Well, we know how to fix it, actually. We time it. And we use our boy here. We have to... The timing is gonna be the hard part. We've been wasting that the whole time. What an idiot. Oh my. Pure luck. We duck. Because of these dudes. Uh huh. Oh damn it! I forgot to use it. Okay, so he gives us this thing. I was really confident I was gonna jump and hit him, and hit him. <clears throat> like bean him in the head, but how in the world? I don't even understand. How did I make it move? Was it not a? Was it just a regular jump? Oh, what I'm doing? It's, it's, I've actually accidentally found the tech. That's funny. It just gets pumped up. Interesting. But what does it do? Like, does it hurt him? Like, how does it hit him? <laughs> the shout out. <laughs> Thank you, Zoke. Okay. He looks a little weird, yeah. I can see why you think that. But then it just swings. What does it do? Like when it swings, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do with it when it pump. Oh, I must jump off of it then and bonk him. Okay, okay, okay. I got it, I got it. I think I'm understanding now. Raises his dumbass little paws. Wait for it. Mm hmm. Raise your paws, bud. He looks a little pipish. 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 Okay. Oh! How did I get hit? Oh man, wrecked. This fight's pretty cool actually. I'm enjoying like figuring out the tech here. Raise your pause, bud. There you go. What in the world? Did my wife order food or something? Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Looks like somebody's knocking on our door. And it's quite late, so it's kind of weird. It's like my wife ordered some food. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. It wasn't, it wasn't like someone was going to rob us. As far as I can tell. Anyway. <laughs> I know, right? Like, yeah, I heard somebody knock on the door. And I was like, what the fuck? Oh, whoops. I'm not paying attention to strats. Oh, baby. One more. And then... 
possible daddy saves our lives again. Oh, fucking hell. I wasn't paying attention. I forgot there was a third cycle. Okay. Well, I never do, yeah. Yeah, I mean, my wife obviously was expecting it. Two, three. Oh my gosh, dude. We, we really gotta time that. The timing is crazy. Oh, does it put you back where you were? Huh. So you, you actually can skip this first level, first phase, if you are so inclined. I guess we could just let it happen. I would never, yeah, I never answer the door. Um, we've always been in that mode in general, in life. <laughs> if anyone ever knocks on my door, I'm like, who the fuck? Hey, what's wrong with you? Like, why, why would you come to my house? Our, our, uh, we actually have some nice neighbors, by the way. Um, so we, we actually, like, I shouldn't have that attitude always, but um, I always check to, I always try to confirm who that is. But at the same time, if it's my neighbors, why wouldn't they text me, right? Why wouldn't they let me know? One more. Oh my god, how in the world? That's five hits too, by the way. This, this boss for sure is five hits. Haha. <laughs> okay, so that's probably the best phase to get him at. Uh oh. <gasps> what in the world? Oh no, my power didn't kick in. I'm gonna see what's happening here. So, okay. I guess it, does, it is kind of nice to you. Oh, it's that one. Oh, dang. What do you have for your big boy? Please, please, you insult me with your meager tech. It's the best phase possible, actually. Oh, of course he has a blue... a, a sixth hit. <gasps> oh, what?! What?! Alright, big boy, what you got? What do we got now, huh? What are we doing? You smell fucker? Brand new power? Brand new power. Three phase boss, boys. Three phase boss. This game is brutal. I'm supposed to hit that, aren't I? How in the world? What am I supposed to do with it? What the fuck? Can I bounce? Can I bounce it back to him? Let's see. Uh oh. I don't understand. So we go? Do we go to blue phase now? No. Okay, let's just let's learn it a little better. Oh my! Look at that. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. Yeah, Squiz, I honestly don't know what the phase is meant to do, though. One, two... Oh, perfect. Look, he's giving me the good RNG. Okay. One, two, three. Get ready for it. Ooh, delicious. Love it. What do you got for me, big boy? No, 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 don't give me that one. I don't like that one. Oh my god. All right, big boy. I don't know how to deal with this phase, though. So he goes blue with this. Okay. Okay, blue phase. Now what? Oh, no! Oh, my God. We got so lucky right there. Okay, what is blue phase? I don't understand this one. Oh, my gosh. He's using the enemy blast as a stepping stone. You can jump on it. That's what I was thinking. Dude, how in the world? Can I jump on it? You can! Look at that. Oh, it's so tight. Dang it! It didn't do what I wanted it to do. I see, because if you just jump at him, you won't. It won't work. 
Interesting. Yeah, man, that's weird. Okay. Music's super good. I'm glad they changed up the music for the final boss. I would have been disappointed if the final boss had, like, the same music. His, his fucking mouth. It looks so weird. The good RNG. <gasps> no! Wrecked! Oh my god. That's okay. So we're gonna go back to the- we're gonna be f as fair as we can with this boss and just kind of do the initial phase, because it's really easy anyway, it doesn't matter. I guess for time reasons we can go to the, re the next section, right, because, I don't know. It's just kind of boring. To be honest, we're just not doing anything, we're just standing here and hiding. Oh fuck, whoops. Ah, that's fine, we'll just try to do the whole boss. It's not hard, it's just like time consuming. Alright, thanks, Dad. Get wrecked, Dad. That's because you didn't come back for smokes, you, you dick. Oh, get, get up there! Uh oh, I got stuck on the map. That was weird. Uh oh. Oh my god, that was terrifying. One, two, three. Yeah, baby, give me that one. I like that one. Ooh, I almost fell. You can manipulate him, actually. It's a distance. It's a distance thing. Oh no, he's still gonna launch it. <gasps> yep. Yeah, as long as you stand on it, he will consistently do that. You have to just move quick. And I think you have to have it pumped three times. Mmm... Hmm. Maybe it's still luck. Okay, blue boy. How in the world? So he does he does a lightning strike at first, actually. Which is kind of weird. Because then he doesn't really do it for a while. Oh! Are you kidding me? He did it two in a row! I thought he was gonna... Oh my gosh, what's happening? I don't understand. Yeah, you have to, for sure, 100%, you have to do a pogo jump off of it. But why is it not doing it? Oh no, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong there. Bonjour. One, two, three. Oh, that's fine. Mm-hmm. I don't understand that last phase at all. Yeah, if you um, if you know what's, what I'm doing wrong, Retro, please. No, I'll happily accept the information. I'm honestly not sure. Okay. Boom. This phase is actually quite easy now at this point. I've done it so many times. Oh. Usually I like to do this one afterwards. So that's nice. Uh oh, too late. Might be a hit. Okay, blue boy time. Mm-hmm. Then I still have to watch him. Okay, he's doing that again. Laser attack. Or lightning attack, I mean. Really? Double lightning? Double rainbow! That's an old meme. Oh my god. There's no way this works, right? <gasps> well, I guess you could cheese it, yeah. I'll try to get two hits in. Oh no! Dude, I bet you that's five hits too. I bet you each phase is five hits. One. Two, three, we have ready. He's just closer to the boss when he bounces on it, I think. 
I see. So he's bouncing. Yeah, I think I see what you mean by that. <gasps> Dang it. I didn't hit the wrong button. One, two, three. Oof. That's a bust. It's a bust. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Just for time's sake. This is gonna take way too long because of this silly phase. <laughs> That's kind of wild. I'm trying to imagine how he would do that. Retro. No, we'll do it next time. Actually, let's, let's just reset. That's fine. I'll get one phase in where we're like actually doing it well. I'm too busy talking to you guys <laughs> to pay attention. Mm -hmm. Oops, too slow. Almost too slow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One more lightning phase. One more. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> I don't think we want to keep watching our, our dad get bodied like that. Poor guy. Look at a little smiley face. It's a perfect time for one. Get up there. So there's a little bit of a bug there. Um, I don't know if you saw that, but I, you kind of get stuck under it because I don't think you're meant to get under it. <laughs> it's a little bit weird, but yeah, I don't think you're meant to get under it. Maybe I moved too quickly or well, faster than the game expected me to. The good RNG. What a dumbass. Okay, blue boy time. Let's see what we can learn here. Okay, lightning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Double lightning. Is it consistent? I don't think it is. I think it's still RNG. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's fully RNG. It can be done. It can be done. You don't need them. How did I do that though? I don't understand how I did that. Okay. Yeah, I got it, I got it. You have to jump up perfectly and he has to not cast one. Interesting, interesting. You don't, even, you don't even need to get that fancy with the tech retro, apparently. Also, I love how like so many of you from the UK are still here because you're like excited to finish this game. I just find that super funny. What a bunch of legends over here. Legendary fans. You're a raider. Legendary. Squiz over here. Like, the fuck, man? I'm not in the UK. And I'm here all the time. <laughs> I know, Squiz. But you're just, you're here all the time. It's not the same, <laughs> it's not the same comparison. For you, not sleeping is normal. Oh my god. How? Como? Alright, big daddy. Oh. Get another hit in. So we got two hits in.
Is it red? This could be it. Now that we understand the fight a little better. I mean, it's still possible I'm gonna fuck it up. Or he's gonna swing up phase four, where the fuck we're. I don't even know what phase we're in anymore. Dude, my heart is racing, by the way, guys. Dude, this game is fucking brutal. You see that shit? Good God. <laughs> Imagine, dude. Hadn't seen the phase. And it's just like, fuck you, bro. Fuck you. I'm coming at you. Full speed. Oh my God. Keto. Keto. What would have happened if that happened to you? What would you have done? I'm just very curious. I think you would have just, you would have, that would have been the table slam. That would have been the table slam for you. 100%. You <laughs> That'll do. Oh my god. That was a bad idea, actually. Just kind of went for it. That was a very bad idea. Yeah, because it keeps spawning. It, it, depending on the attack. If you did the if you did the lightning attack, I could have absolutely done that. Mm. This is actually quite simple now, now that I know it, but... Yeah, because the, the hitbox is actually a little... Pretty good. You could probably double, do a double hit there. Honestly. Dude, I gotta take a piss so bad. You have no idea, guys. The stream's gonna get real TOS when I piss my pants. Oh, too, too quick. That was too quick. Oof. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> ban. <laughs> On that note, because Oxford would ban me from my own channel, I'm going to I'm going to go use the restroom really quick. Because I gotta go, man. You believe in me? I'll be back. I'll be right back, Shen. I just gotta use the restroom really quick. You believe. Shen still believes. Or he hasn't spoken any further from that moment. Do I believe in myself? I think I do. I'm just I'm not sure what's gonna happen when we get to that that fucking Falcon Punch. Falcon Punch! Where the fuck was going on there? One, two, three, prepare. Oh, okay. You're gonna do you almost always do that pattern. Mm -hmm. So I just jump it. Boop. Boop him on the snoot. Okay. 
Jump. Fly, you fools. Okay, okay. Good RNG. The good one. I'm just watching him, by the way, because I don't really need to look at what's going on. As long as I know what he's up to. What do you got for me, big boy? Okay. I'm gonna do the the explosion. Oh my god. Okay, blue boy time. We stand right here, right on the red flag. Wait for lightning. Stand right here, wait for lightning again. Lightning again. Okay, so be it. He does like at least three orb attacks. Oh, why was that a hit? I don't understand. Hmm. Okay, lightning. Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Hmm. I don't think I understand the, the logistics of why I fucked that up last time. Hmm. So now he does his angry? No, no, this is normal. He's gonna pounce at us. In a bit. Oh no, it's so quick. Uh, sorry, it's not qu not as quick as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, okay. One, two, three. Yeah, there, earlier we got hit for something silly, actually. Because um, I was just being dumb. I was being greedy. One, two, three. Yeah, good RNG. Four hours already, huh? It's a big daddy stream today. I feel like... I don't know. I don't know how you guys feel about the, the length of streams. Uh, I try to do three hours. I don't know. Three hours just feels right to me in terms of like, like balance in my life. Um, but for, for some odd reason, the streams often end up at at three. Oh, sorry, at four. Four seems to be like a, a nice round number, I suppose, for stream content. At least for me. And it's actually not just because we're almost finishing the game. Like, that's not necessarily the case. I think I think three hours is just right for me. Shen. Okay, we stand here. Mm-hmm. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. I think three hours is just right, uh, but sometimes things do, like, you know, get a little long. Last a little bit longer. Oh, no. What did we do there? I'm not even sure what I did wrong. It's like a minimum. That's fair. Yeah, that's probably true. We want to do at least three hours unless something something big starts happening. Then we're like, oh, yeah, we get much more excited. Dude, I'm doing something a little bit off in that blue phase. Need to learn that a little better, I think. Yeah, because I'm not sure I'm understanding <clears throat> how to be consistent. Being consistent is pretty important. Being consistent, sorry, is quite important in this fight. Because um, it's just so long. <laughs> if you can't uh, consistently pass the go through the phases, then yeah, it's just not going to work out. Because then you won't be able to learn the next phase. Um, what I keep doing is I keep getting hit in the blue phase, which is a big, big problem because I, 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 I'm not able to learn the final red or purple phase, whatever the fuck is going on there, right? It's unfortunate. Because I really want to learn that phase. I haven't even seen it. All I did was get decked that one time. <laughs> okay, blue phase, stand right here. I'm trying to shoot for four hours, five hours. I don't know how you do that. Yeah, like it, it's a bit much. Like it always feels a bit much to do um, up five hours. Five hours seems like I've like I've gone, <laughs> I've gone too long, for me any personally. You seen a girl streaming an hour and thirty? <laughs> what does she do? That's just so weird. But I, I, I suppose she might be a, like a just chatting streamer, right? And that's understandable. That's like what she does. That is interesting, though. Okay. It's pretty consistent. 
Oof, I don't know why I didn't react. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, no. Oof. Okay, so he's... He's not even red yet, so we're not there yet. Yeah, I just can't get to this phase without being hit once. I just realized something. The reason I got hit there is because he jumped. But I don't understand what prompts him to do a jump. Oh, it must be the one, the phase where he, the moment when, in which he's done. He's done doing these things, these things. Yeah, so for that reason, it's probably a little bit dangerous to do that at that moment. You're already for real, yeah. Oh no, how in the world did I miss that? One, two, three. You gotta go to bed. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure why any of you are still here. I might not finish this game tonight. If I do, I might record it um, offline. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. Ooh. I hope so too. I hope this boss in particular is an Elden Ring. Zoke. This boss should be an Elden Ring, honestly. It would be a disservice to us if it wasn't. I'm sure Miyazaki plays this game on his free time, right? Just to like learn learn more about game design. Right? He's he's a cow. He's a cow. Okay. Okay. Boom. Okay. Blue phase. Let's just do it here for. Uh, we might as well at this point. We've already used save state, so we might as well use it. And, and we're going all in because we have a... Try to sort it out faster so we can learn. I want to learn this, dude. I have to learn this. Oh, because he's a coward, yeah. I know, right? Come down. I mean, he did come down and fight us, actually. So that's how we died uh, when we got the furthest. He just came at us. Uh, and it literally decked me in the face. He just punched me in the face. It was a very, very uh, Chad move, actually. He definitely asserted dominance on me. Just didn't see it coming. Didn't. There you go. It was funny though. Honestly, it was funny to me. I just didn't expect that he would jump into a phase like that. Yeah, yeah. So he, okay. When he does that jump, you gotta back off. Back off. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's only first try. Oh no. Get hit in. Fuck it. We already have iframes. No oh, man. Come on, dude. Yeah, that's true. It is kind of interesting to do that, like an, an hour and a half. It's just like, a to me, like a pretty crazy time. I, I would agree, Shen. It's kind of weird. Oh, you have to be faster. I think you have to be faster. Interesting, interesting. Unistry, please. Please, Shen. To be fair, that's more than a lot of people can say. You, you, you can technically say at that point that you have some time streaming. I was going to say some hours, but yeah, you don't have hours. But <laughs> you have some time. You you have streamed. Hmm. Gosh, I don't... To be honest with you, the thing that bugs me about this fight is that I don't understand what I'm doing differently when I succeed. That's really bugging me. Like, what am I doing differently when I do succeed? I don't understand. There's probably a way to do even more damage, by the way. Yeah, see, look at that. What in particular was worked there? I, I don't... Didn't work there, I'm sorry. I'm guessing that I'm just kind of landing it wrong. Yeah, but look at that. That worked. I don't understand. You stream every day, do you, Shen? Do you? Oxford, I appreciate that you're still here as well. I mean, it's actually early for you, I suppose. But 
you're still here weathering this madness with us. Okay. That's that's the punch phase now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh dude, that's crazy. That's fun. That's funny actually. So it's actually understandable. Uh, easy to deal with actually. Yeah, that's the final that's the final phase, Squiz. It's like a four phase boss, dude. I wasn't kidding. It's like a four phase boss. If we make it to full health, I'll uh, I'll lock that in. Just just so we can be done with the game. Yeah, it's a big if though. Getting to this area with full health is quite challenging. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Should be it. Yep. Mhm. Mm Stand right here. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm right. 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 I had a guy I worked with who said that. Like instead of instead of saying right, he would, he would say it like five times. Right. 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 <gasps> Whoa, pixel baby. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. What is it that I do wrong, dude? I don't get it. I do not get it. Like the... It's just such a weird angle, I guess. I'm not sure. You want to see this asshole go down? Understandable. Um, Squiz, can you quote, can you quote Oxford on, Oxford on that? Two people? Two? Who the, who the fuck was there? <laughs> Did somebody join in just to meme with you? Cause that's actually pretty funny, Shed. <laughs> I always appreciate a good meme right here. Oh my god, you guys see the pixels on that? Oh shit. Lightning. Lightning bolt. Okay. Let's just see what the fuck is happening in this final phase if we ever get if we get there without a hit. Oh my god. Looks like a fucking pixel right there again. <laughs> oh my god. You guys are really gonna shout out Shen? That's fantastic. Sh Shen isn't, as far as I know, not a streamer. Wait, you welcome the shout out. <laughs> you welcome the shout out, Shen, for the memes. Oh my god. Wrecked. Almost had it. Almost had it full health. She was gonna do this stupid jump. Punch. Uh huh. Do one hit. He comes at us again. Get a hit in. This is gonna be another five hit, I bet you. I promise you it's another five hit. That's definitely another five hit. Insane, dude. Insane. Best friends forced to do battle. Perfect. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it seriously. And yes, that's intended to be loud as fuck, by the way. It's intended to be that loud. <laughs> I love that clip. It's one of my favorite moments in film in general. Like, that clip makes me laugh so goddamn much. Like, when I first saw that... By the way, when I was making that fucking clip in Trigger Fire, Kita, I was, like, laughing out loud. Actually laughing out loud. I, I just... And I was thinking, like, what has my life become? Am I doing this? Am I... <laughs> <laughs> is this gonna be something I'm going to unleash upon myself? That was perfect usage of it, by the way. Very well done. Are you, are, Oxford, are you a fan of the Cable Guy, the movie? I, I imagine you probably are a Star Trek fan. As a fan of nerdy things in general. Baby. 
Oh, baby, a double. You are? Oh, wait, wait yes to what? I see two questions. <laughs> are you a Cable Guy fan or are you a Star Trek fan? Or both? Oh, really? I'm just spamming that shit, huh? Come on, frog boy. Ain't nobody got time for this. Okay, so we're doing this now because just for the sake of time. So we have to almost immediately jump and. I actually, in my head, said we have to jump and peg him, by the way. I actually said that. <laughs> Oh! What in the world? You change your tactics, you dick? What in the world, dude? Come at me, bro, for real. I'm done with this shit. Just fucking fight me. You dead? You fucking dead or what? I don't believe it. I don't fucking believe it. Phase five. Phase five. I still don't believe it. Hey, we saved her. First try, indeed. Attempts to resist guy. <laughs> Mir, for God's sakes, I was in a boss fight. How dare you? How dare you, Mir? Oh, is he our dad? We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Oh, we were we were collecting the Chaos Emeralds. Kido was right. Oh, did he kill her? Holy shit! That's fucking dark. Yeah, we're actually reviving her. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that funny, Kita? I mean, oh, yeah, we did it. So this is another weird situation where she's a human girl. There are indeed humans in this world. But we are an anthropomorphic animal. Which we don't know what it is. This is the end? Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe she's Priscilla. Yeah, she becomes the first animal-human hybrid. They're like, don't worry guys, you, you've, you've reached mid-game. The tutorial is over. Now it's time to start the real game. Oh, these guys were like sub subjugated by the, the big frog, dude. That's really interesting. That's actually a pretty good twist. That these guys were actually not bad. Um, and they were actually... Uh, they were actually enslaved, perhaps. At least the pirate guy was nice, right? He helped us. Thank you, pirate friend. We have. We have indeed retrieved our princess. That's true, Shen. Absolutely true. This music's pretty good, man. I'm enjoying this music. Mm -mm. I love these sprites. Aren't these super cute, Kita? Oh my god, the little sail with our face on it. That's super adorable. Yeah, clearly. They're gonna they're gonna head back in the in that house and produce the first human squirrel thing hybrids. Yeah, I know. I didn't. I certainly didn't expect that. This game is really hard, by the way. You saw that shit open. But I think if we had done it without, um, if we had done it completely pure experience, it would. This actually is a reasonable game to do in a pure experience um, because of the infinite um, continues. It's just some areas are like extremely long. But yeah, I. I think it probably would have taken us like five to six hours. Sorry, six hours. And maybe five. I think it could have taken us five. Because we learned that fight like in and out. So yeah, it, it, it could have... It was really just the spike level. The spike level. The spears and this area. And, and sorry, and the final boss. That was a challenge. But to be honest, I, we probably could have... We could have done the final boss over and over and over and eventually gotten it. So I, th I think five hours would have been reasonable, actually.
Dude, Grandpa, are you okay? You got decked. Grandpa got decked in the face earlier. I don't know if you guys saw that. He got knocked the fuck out. By that fox dude. I guess I'm glad you're okay, Grandpa. Hey, credits. We did it. We did it. We did it, Reddit. What a wild ride that's been. Yeah, I legit thought we were gonna like play this game for like, um, like 30 minutes to an hour, and then I was gonna be like, oh man, this game is really tough, and I would have just left, left the game right and played something else. I actually had other games lined up, um, but I don't know. It, I started really enjoying it. It's a, it's a really fun game, despite its extreme level of challenge. It's really fun. I I had a great time with this game, honestly. Like, did it stress me out? Yeah, 100%. 100%, right? But in the same way that, like... In the same way that Dark Souls stressed me out, right? Like, I still love Dark Souls. It was pretty fun. And did you, you guys enjoyed watching it. I'm happy to hear that, Ben. Yeah, I was a little worried about that, actually. That's one thing I, I was... Why I also thought that I would switch games is because I, I didn't think you guys were going to be super engaged with it, right? I, I thought that I was going to have, like... To be honest, I, I was playing this game for myself because of a mem memories, right? And I thought that we were going to have, like, I don't know, five viewers at best, you know, like, which is, like, the bare minimum, usually, with, like, you know, you know two to five viewers. Um, but a bunch of, well, to be fair, it was also because of the raids, right? But a bunch of viewers were have stuck around, and uh, and not to say the numbers were the most important thing, but just so the, the engagement, right? Like, you can have, like, a two-person chat, and people were, like, super hyped and talking the whole time. And that's that's really what actually kept me playing the game. Like, I, honest honest truth, I would not have played this game, if it, finished this game, if it wasn't for you guys. Um, because uh, you were all here, you were all chatting, you were joking around, you were, like, um, assisting me as well. I mean, that, that, that was that's wonderful, honestly. Like, I legit would not have played this game without you guys. Uh, I would have been like, eh, you know, maybe, maybe next time. Maybe I'll pick it up next time. Um, you guys know me. I don't play anything uh, quickly. I, I hate that, actually. I hate playing things quickly. Oh, we missed a secret in here. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't play anything quickly, right? So the idea that uh, you get... The only reason I kept going is because you guys were here, and I was like, well, let's just try. Let's try our best. Right? Maybe we can finish it. And we did. We actually finished the game. So thank you, guys. Thank you. I couldn't... I literally would not have done it without you. <laughs> Special thanks to chat, to Twitch chat. Specifically, you guys. Thank you. Do we have time to read a, li a libertarian copy? Oh my god, no. Let's just no. Let's not do that. Shout out to Twitch chat. Oh, so the whole dev team was Japanese. I guess it makes sense, right? I guess that makes sense. That's so intriguing. This game doesn't feel to me when I first saw it. It didn't feel like a very like Eastern game. I kind of, I kind of gave me a lot of uh, Western vibes in its design at the time. That's pretty. To be continued. <laughs> there's no question mark, by the way. There's actually no question mark at the end of that. So it, it is a statement. It is a statement of fact. To be continued by force. <laughs> Let's see. And that's just a game. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, no, I told you guys, that was just, just a tutorial. We're starting the real game now. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the game. We've done it. <laughs>